Now, with the release of 5.2, I figured it would be a good idea for me to engage in the series where I do not wish on Genshin Impact till I reach Adventure Rank 55. Currently, I am AR47. If we go to our wish here, you'll see that I have 24,000 Primo Gems, 10 Limited Wishes, and 41 Permanent Wishes. And if we go into our history here, you will also see and witness that I haven't wished on any of the banners whatsoever. Now, as for all the other characters that I have obtained, I got them via events and through other means that don't require gacha whatsoever. Let's continue on with the story now. So this is going to be a continuation of the Arkham Quest, essentially. We can notify the nearest camp and the stationed forces can take immediate action. That'll lead to a faster response time. Yes, precisely. This should also allow us to focus on gathering information rather than running around and trying to tackle everything at once. Very smart, actually. You've been working hard these days, and this will be a good opportunity for some well-deserved rest. Well, knowing this game, there is no rest for the wicked. So that's the plan. Whew, we can finally stop and take a break. Uh, but the less work we take, the less we'll earn. Keeping that land safe and sound is our priority now. The more I can wait. Okay. <laughs> once the disaster is over, Everyone will return to their normal lives. Okay. We just all hope that day will be sooner rather than later. Does she feel emotion? Oh, right. Because she's a robot. Most people have no idea just how bad the situation has gotten in the Night Kingdom. I also hope the day of peace will come soon. She didn't say anything. Oh, hey, Kachina. Are you feeling better now? What the? Wait, why does Kachina have no voice lines? Is this a bug? This has to be a bug, surely. No way. This has to be a bug, guys. What's going on? Impressive, Kachina. I don't know what you said, but impressive. Uh, no. I really hope... I really hope there hasn't been a controversy with, like, the voice actor or something. So they just, like, decided, all right, let's remove their voice or something like that. Or if this is just a simple so bug. I finally get to meet Shilonin, the legendary forger of ancient names. Kylan still can't believe anyone could forge those things. I... I have to look this up on YouTube. You know what? I want my 800 primos, Hoyaverse. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not really bothered about that. Everyone's so proud of you. Just pretend she's speaking sign language. I think that'll make it better. Oh, it's so sad. She's got expression, but she has no voice. That caught me off guard. I, I think I'm not the only one who's suffering from this right now. Is everyone suffering from this? I think what I might do is I might convert to Japanese. And it feels kind of lonely not having a voice here, which kind of sucks. I really hope... I mean, like... I'm, I'm not saying I don't want Kachina here, but if Kachina's gonna be here for a lot of the story, I might just convert it to Japanese simply for uh, more immersion. We're gonna meet J Violin. I'm gonna call her Violin because I keep mixing her name with Violin. I know her name's Jalonin. Jalonin, I've brought the person, blah, blah, blah. He's super amazing, and I've already learned tons of stuff from him. I can vouch that he's really worthy of a hero's name. Ah, yes, so I've heard. So young, and yet you've already got quite the reputation. Wait, hmm. are you, are you Outlanders? <laughs> yes. Just arrived in Natland not too long ago. No, I, I mean, I was aware that you're travelers. It's just no one told me that you're Outlanders. Okay. Huh? You're saying the Pyro Archon didn't tell you? No, the only thing she said is that a new hero had pledged himself to the plan. But we need to forge an ancient name to ensure he'd be able to return safe and sound. Okay. And she did mention that it would be quite difficult to forge an ancient name for them, but at the time, I thought she was just commenting on my skills. But I seem to understand where the uh, true difficulty lies now. <sighs> uh, are you upset? No, oh, I, I wouldn't go that far. I'm... Used to it, really. I just huh, need a moment to process things. The Pyro Archon's requests are always difficult to fulfill, and uh, we used to argue a lot. Okay. Honestly, it's uh, probably for the better that she didn't bring this up at the time. <laughs> anyway, I can't argue with her if she isn't here, and it'd be pointless to take my anger out on someone else. But whew, just because I understand her rationale doesn't make me any less upset after all she must have known that forging an ancient name for an outlander is an impossible task yes it's impossible as you probably know an ancient name is a symbol of a hero's spirit and glory which grows even richer and heavier as generations of successors inherit it we forge ancient names by engraving the heroic deeds of an individual who will become the first hero of that particular name 
I've got plenty of deeds under my belt. Yeah, uh, yeah, I saw countless feats recorded in their adventurous handbook. It feels like they could do anything. But they were all performed outside of Natlan, correct? Yeah, that's right. Oh, for fudge sakes. <laughs> then those deeds haven't been recorded by the Night Kingdom. Bro, why do I feel like this happened before? I think last time, Jolin just ended up running dozens of laps around the hills nearby. <laughs> I can't do this, man. Ugh, don't remind me. Let's just uh, focus on how we can pull this off. How to achieve the impossible. Uh, you mean you're already willing to accept the task? Why not? Oh, but now she's looking for silver lining? Maybe that's just how she and the Archon trust each other. Y yeah, let's see if we can find us some special way to pull this off. If we really make it work, I'm sure we can still go back and talk to the Pyro Archon, right? The key is getting the Wyab to somehow acknowledge the Traveler's existence and record his heroic deeds. We heard the voice of a Wyab when we were in the Night Kingdom before. We even had a whole conversation with her. If we can talk to her again, maybe we can figure something out together. Well, the tribe has their own <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy the stupid dialogue that I provide. Would we need to gain the acknowledgements of all six wipes? <sighs> I don't know. That requires a level of knowledge that I do not possess. I've heard that to get her help, you have to be extremely patient with her and know how to keep her spirit up. Mm. I hate to break it to you, but... Oh, she probably won't be very happy with us. Why is that? I mean, didn't she already help you before? And you even managed to save Kachina. Well, yeah. At the cost of her spirit speaker stone being split into two. Oh, no. That's really bad. Huh? <sighs> Great going, Moika. We're already off to a rocky start here. In that case, I guess your only option is to try to emphasize that this is an important order from the Pyro Archon. Hopefully, Seat Lolly would still want to show respect to the Archon. I'll also write you a letter on your behalf. If you can find someone to deliver it and mention some good things about you, then that should help too. Yay. Oh, let's ask Kinich to deliver the letter. He understands the whole situation and is already a familiar face to her. <laughs> I could do a much more higher pitch. Is a seasoned negotiator. I might try it. Oh, I got it too. And we can meet up near the statue of the seven later. Okay. Okay, let's go. Bro, it feels so lonely without her voice, Kachina. It's so sad. I'm pretty convinced we'll get Pyro in this though, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure I saw a spoiler about something. We meet again, Kachi. Wait, yeah. Oh, are you kidding me? Even with Kanich? We meet again. Kachina told me everything. I'll deliver the message to the Masters of the Nightwind and convince the Citadel to give you a chance. Sitali, fuck, I said Citadel. <laughs> I'll also take the chance to explain what happened to the spirit keep, spirit speaker at Stone, and offer her an apology in person. I'm sorry to put this on you, Kanich. It's just that you're probably the only person who knows how to deal with her. It's all right. We're all working for the sake of the Pyro Archon's plan, after all. Everyone here understands how dire the situation has become. Oh, wait, so Kachina and the Traveler also know about the plan? No, yes. Mm-hmm, because we're all... So a hero of the past re right? Before our eyes! And then Malani said that a ton of knowledge and memory suddenly flooded her brain! I don't know how you guys are watching this. Please provide the video with a like, because this is going to strain my voice. Thank you very much. The Pyro Archon explained everything when we came back from the Night Kingdom, including the reason behind the appearance of the hero, as well as the current state of the Night Kingdom. Right. She mentioned there are six heroes and that Shilonen is one of four that have already been acknowledged. Oh, <laughs> well, then I suppose there's no need to keep any secrets between us. Mm. Having companions walk by your side is perhaps the best solace when facing such a bleak reality. Yeah, like Paimon. I'll have another piece of intel to share. We've pretty much identified the person who rescued the captain in the Stadium of the Sacred Flame. His name's Aurora, and he also hails from the Masses of the Nightwind. 
However, he spent most of his life living out in the wilderness by himself away from the rest of the tribe. That's why his disappearance went unnoticed. By the time Sitali finally realized that, he went gone. I mean, he was gone. <laughs> no one had... I can't do this. I really can't. No one has heard from him from quite a while. It is too early to do freaking impressions, dude. That's right. Aurorum was an orphan raised by the chief of the masters of the Nightwind and many other kind-hearted people in his tribe. Still, he's had something of an odd reputation in his whole life. Odd, huh? Given how the masters of the Nightwind love to babble about dreams and revelations, they're already a pretty strange bunch to most. I've never met Auroran, but... If they consider him the odd one, he's got to be pretty far out there. That's right. So in case Auroran and Sitali actually have quite a bit in common, which is why they get along pretty well. Huh. Makes sense. But Paimo wonders how Sitlali could be the first one to notice Auroran's disappearance if she spends the whole day in her room. Okay, guys, just want to let you know, I'm going to keep messing up lines a bit because I'm trying to read it as quickly as possible. And voice actors obviously make mistakes. I'm not a voice actor. As of now, we still haven't been able to confirm whether Aurora joined the Fatui voluntarily or if he was coerced. Sitali is probably eager to prove that Aurora hasn't betrayed his people. I plan to use this as leverage when I go to talk with her. Oh, so if I'm following, you mean we'll help her investigate Aurora and the captain's whereabouts? Yes. If you're all on board with the idea then it becomes a mutually beneficial collaboration, rather than just a one-sided request. I don't think Sitali is the kind of person to turn down an order from the Pyroarch on working together with us will help her focus and not get distracted by the whole Aurora situation. Good idea. Yeah! Plus, we kind of owe her one anyway to make up for breaking the spirit. Yeah, <laughs> we haven't even met her yet. Ah, this is a pretty well thought out plan. As expected of Molly Poke and each. Then, uh, yeah, I'll leave my letter to you. Let's hope Seat Molly can meet at the stadium in two days. Sure. I'll head out right away. Take care out there, Kenich. I'll be heading as well. There are still a few things I need to pack. I am so sorry, everyone. This is so unconventional. I, I have resorted to changing my language to Japanese because I simply cannot continue on doing the voice for the... What? There is no way I did not uninstall the languages. No, 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 no. This is not happens. I kid you not. I did not uninstall Japanese. I did not do that. Why did the game do that? I am not. Oh, you. F I, okay, never mind. I'm now. I'm upset. Now I'm actually upset. I was planning on just joking around. Uh -huh, sorry guys, I can't do it. Now I'm gonna play Japanese. But now I'm. Not, there's no way I can install that. It'll take too much time. Well, I guess I'm going to have to play the story with the freaking voices being messed up. Oh, I know what's happening. Guys, I figured out why the voices... Oh my god, my brain. Everyone currently is on... Str okay, thank thank you, Sock, who is a YouTube member of mine for mentioning this. I believe it was him. But he mentioned something about voice actors being on strike right now. And I believe the reason why we can't hear Kanich or, or uh, the other one, the, the squiggly face girl, is because they're all on strike at the moment. Which means we can't hear the voices. That is so interesting. Okay. Uh, today is tomorrow, isn't it? I was figuring out why. Like, why? That has to be the reason. It has to be. I am quite a genius at times. <laughs> oh, it's time to meet up with Shilonen. Let's ask her how things have been going. Okay. I love how the traveler doesn't have voice lines anyway, so <laughs> he doesn't really have to go on strike. <laughs> Zach, yeah. Oh dear. Okay, let's go visit with uh, Julian. Hey, Shulonen. How's everything going? Hmm. Oh, hi, Traveler and Paimon. I have uh, bad news. Seat Lolly did not reply to our request. Although, I suppose I'm not too surprised. Huh? You mean she didn't even bother to give Kanich a response? I guess she really does have quite the ego then. Yeah, well, she can be also quite eccentric, though she's one of the most gifted people around. Even the okay. Masters of the Night Wind often struggle to work with her. My guess is that she probably has other reasons for not deeming us with response. But let's go to the stadium and see if we can meet her there. 
I hope we get to hear her in English. You know what? I have definitely been considering doing voice acting, but I'm not. I'm not even professional at all. I don't know anything about it. I don't know. I guess I lack confidence. People say I have quite a gifted voice. That's such a nice compliment. I also hope that you guys are enjoying the video at the moment. I know I sure am doing all these silly little voices. Oh no. Okay. Paimon doesn't see anybody. <clears throat> and she's just not gonna show up, huh? <clears throat> I like the vibe of this place. Well, we tried to be as considerate as we could, but she's under no obligation to help. That might be true, but this is still a request from the Pyro Archon, right? Shouldn't the subject always answer the call of their Archon? <laughs> a subject? Well, if you ask me, I'd say we're all more like friends with the Archon. I love that. I love that. They don't see them as a... Like, they don't put her on a pedestal. Kind of tall barrier between she's just, and her. Yeah, she's just a friend. The only thing is that she often has very high expectations of us. I can tell. Huh. So even though she's super powerful, it sounds like she's actually pretty down to earth and easy to get along with. Unlike the old hag Granny eats to Lee, right? Does she think she can ignore us just because she's seen us? Oh, no, Paimon. You all talk about her like she's some kind of huge deal, but she didn't even bother to reply to our letter. Seriously, if she didn't want to come, she could at least let us know. If that's what aging does to you, Paimon never wants to get old. Oh, no, this is... <laughs> That's how you see me? No, oh, no. Who's oh, <laughs> yeah. next to Paimon? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just a disgruntled old hag, right? Uh, come on, relax. I'm sure my bark's worse than my bite. See <laughs> Lolly. Huh? Wait, you're see Lolly? You're Granny Eatsley? Yeah, she's Granny Eatsley, and she looks like a profitable character. Yes. <laughs> granny Eatsley, but emphasis on Eatsley, not Granny. You know what this reminds me of? This trope from light novels, surely. They use it all the time. The young man who's actually the oldest person in the room. The girl next door who turns out to be a seasoned veteran. The wise sage who looks like a little kid. This this kind of reminds me of uh, when we found out about Skirk, you know, seeing her for the first time, we all kind of assumed she was an old person, but uh, it looks like she's just a standard profitable character from Honkai Star Roll. <laughs> oh, wipe that look off your face. You've seriously never seen an older lady that doesn't look her age? <sighs> okay, well, don't go thinking it's a trick either. Okay. See? I'm barely wearing any makeup. Did I forget to mention, she's called Granny, but uh, she's actually pretty young. Oh, what was, what? Okay, and you were complaining about the Pyro Archon leaving things out? <laughs> it was an honest mistake. I guess we've just gotten used to it. Wow. Um, I'm on sorry. So, how old are you actually? What? What? How dare you? <laughs> you never ask a lady her age. You never ask a lady her age. Yep. Damn. Honestly, honestly, Paimon, in this situation, I would be the exact same way. Like, imagine a situation where you, you misgender someone and then you end up just messing it up even more. Hmm. That's just like a random example. Idea to invite you here but that's what I thought of, essentially, so when with that uh, little interaction. <sighs> Alright, I was only joking. I didn't mean to chastise anyone. Okay. There's really no need to take all this so seriously. If anything, I'm gonna feel awkward if we keep this going. Oh boy. I received Kanich's letter and was planning to attend this meeting. Since I had already decided to come, I figured there was no need to draft a reply that simply <coughs> said, understood. But, but, of course... Oh. It's also natural for people to get held up by one thing or another as they're trying to leave the house. Mm. <laughs> It certainly was a bit awkward to see that everyone else had arrived before me. 
At first, I was thinking of quietly sneaking over, but since you were already here waiting for me, I started to think about how I should phrase my apology. Only to hear you all talking smack about Oh my god, her eyes. <sighs> anyway, that's the whole story. Uh, <clears throat> honestly, it's not like I owed you an explanation anyway. Yeah. Uh, whoops. Sorry. Okay, this is really awkward now. We're just standing here. Huh? What's with that expression? Was she feeling embarrassed just now? I love how we're talking with each other. Using our minds. Wait, wait. Is she waiting for us to carry on the conversation? Everything she's saying sounds like a joke, but I'm not sure if I should laugh. This is basically me with every single German interaction I've had. I don't know if they're joking or not. Would it be rude to laugh? Or even more rude to not laugh? When the masters of the night win, so they struggle dealing with her. Huh, I wonder if the feeling is mutual. <clears throat> huh, she seems to be pretty awkward herself. Everything she does and says seems a little forced. <clears throat> anyway, Shilonen. I heard that you require my help in crafting an ancient name. She's cryo. Correct. <clears throat> the situation isn't like anything we've handled before. Let okay. me explain. <sighs> Stretch a bit. Uh, I see. So Mawika has asked you to forge an ancient name for an outlander. Well, that, that would being be me. first. And you've also heard all about Auroron. I must say, he's always been a good kid. I can't see him joining the Fatui of his own volition. He must have been coerced somehow. We'll know once we find him. Yeah, that's what we came here to ask you. We'll help bring Auroron back if you help us solve the problems of forging the ancient name. What do you think? <sighs> hmm. Uh, I suppose I'll just call you Traveler for now. Wow. Traveler, come here. Let yeah. Me take a good look at you. Okay. Hmm. Oh no. Wealth leads to unending conflicts between people. Yet you alone transcend the value of gold. Baleful thunder and wrathful waves bring terror to mortal hearts. Yet again and again, you've braved them to find new worlds. A weary yet Whoa. free soul. Even the most verdant leaf in the forest. We'll pray for your happiness and safe passage. Excuse me? What was all that supposed to mean? <sighs> Those are all the things that I could see in you. You've experienced far more than even most mortals could dream of. Mm. You possess the heart of a sincere hero, along with the conviction to lift a torch above your head and walk headlong into the night. I hate to ruin this huh? interaction with you all, but... Don't move. Have you noticed something There's about something this? Here. Um, there's a lot of hissing in the voices for Jelonen and this other character. Ah, shoot. Sitali. <clears throat> oh, that should do it. You've just returned from the Night Kingdom, so some fragments of souls were still stuck to your body. No need to worry. I've just cleared out the last of them. Hmm. Isn't that kind of like having part of a ghost come back with you? Uh, yeah. Oh, it's nothing as serious as that. If left unattended, the most it could do is stir up some chaos in your mind, and oh. generally worsen your mood. Well, in that okay. case, better to get rid of them. Thank you. It was nothing. She seems chill, but also awkward. Shilonen, but that's fine. Let's follow your proposal. Once you've brought Aurora on back, I'll take you to see the Lord of the Night. I'm also awkward. The Lord of the Night. But don't we need to talk to the Wyab of the tribes? Something this important is beyond their jurisdiction. Only the Lord of the Night can decide whether we she's, can grant an ancient name to one who does not hail from our lands. She's got a baby, baby mark on her arm. Is an ancient entity that rules over the entire Night Kingdom, constantly borrowing the power of the Sacred Flame to combat corrosion from the Abyss. Right. Oh, so you're basically saying it's even more powerful than the Wyab of the Tribes. Well, that sort of makes sense, being the lord of the entire Night Kingdom and all. Mm. Uh, not exactly. <coughs> it's not so much that one's more powerful than the other. Uh, but never mind. That's not important. It would take too much time to explain. 
Just listen carefully to what I'm about to tell you. The Lord of the Night is currently in a deep slumber, and we can only communicate with its consciousness while in a trance. In but I will need to prepare a few more things if we are to hold a ceremony to achieve the state of the trance. I'll make a list. Can any of you get everything for me? I can go. It'll probably be a long list, so better leave it to someone who knows all the local vendors. Okay, that's fair, actually. Good. Then we'll go with St. Lolly to track down Aurora. I like how chill she is, surprisingly. I was expecting her to be a lot more ruder. Please, be careful during your investigation. Yep, we'll be sure to play it safe. Okay. Although her voice does sound different from the trailer. Now it's time for us to catch that brat and bring him back. <sighs> oh, uh, I'm sorry I made you wait earlier. It was actually because I decided to swing by Auroran's place to look for clues. He has always lived alone. And I found a broken jar in his house. There was also something off about his phlogiston aphids. Mm. Which, and interestingly I enough, I saw some slash marks in the house. Oh, the hissing is really bothering me, guys. This is really getting on my nerves. Shneznayan. Oh, sounds like the Fatui broke into his house and took him hostage. <laughs> but why would they kidnap a kid who just spends his days living in the country and raising aphids? He's only in his 20s. What would they want with him? <laughs> That's not to say that I believe he's totally innocent, of course. Since he's the only one who was kidnapped out of everyone in Natlan, he must have done something to attract their attention. Yeah, clearly. <sighs> in any case, we'll get to the bottom of this once we manage to get him back here. Okay. I'm truly sorry to put you two through all this trouble with me. But uh, please help me get him back. I could try. You can count on us! Yeah. Alright, then let's start by heading to where Auroran was seen last. Last known location. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, let's go, let's go. Uh, don't tell me I have to go all the way there. Okay, cool. Uh, for a second, I thought it was somewhere a lot more longer. Alright. Oh, I know some people are still in the video and I'm a bit, I'm a bit late, but uh, I'm currently on floor 7 of the Spiral Abyss. Just letting you know. I should have mentioned that earlier on in the video. Right here. See? And I've uh, currently gotten all the stars, I believe, on this account. I know. I'm amazing. Since I have Jean, it should make Spiral Abyss even more easier because she is so perfect. Oh, also, for those who are also, uh, engaged into my uh, five-star series, I should hopefully release that sometime maybe next week. I know. I'm taking my time with this series. I'm just letting it play, uh, you know, let more people uh, be aware of the video because once when I publish I a new episode, to have seen Auroran speaking to some it will just stop in progress. Here. I don't know how much you're willing to believe me, but Auroran really is a good kid. Okay. I see no reason why he'd suddenly get involved with the Fatui. I'm convinced that what the witnesses saw was actually the Fatui coercing him, or perhaps trying to extract information. Uh, however, I doubt anyone would believe me, given there are no signs of a fight. Didn't Kanich say that she's a big name in Natlan? Feels kind of weird to see her so frustrated and helpless like this. Could you tell us a little more about him? Auroran? Well, he was left at the side of the road as an infant. And the people of the tribe took him in. Okay. You could say that everyone had a hand in raising him. <clears throat> he learned a lot from us. And once he reached adulthood, he built himself a house out in the countryside. He spends most of his days growing vegetables and raising aphids. Living off of what he harvests from the garden. <sighs> He's always been <clears throat> such a good kid. He would even get his friends to deliver whole bags of fresh produce to my place. If that's all there is to him, then he really doesn't seem like a bad person. Oh well, let's keep looking. He can answer all of our questions once we find him. He's been raising phlogiston aphids for a long time. And since they were disturbed... They secreted a special type of phlogiston. We can use that substance to track his movements. Let's follow the phlogiston trail. Huh? What trail? Hyman doesn't see anything. I think Aurora looks cool from uh, oh, what right. I've seen in the trailer. The original trailer. Your eyes don't naturally perceive such things. Uh, here, give me your hand. Oh, is she going to give us some magical abilities? 
again. Crack no wish you are 55. Oh my god, she gave us a blue wish. Why would she do this? <laughs> okay. How about now? I bet nothing. Oh, I actually do see. Oh, I could see the trail now. Yay. Oh, Primon can see it now too. That's right. I used a spell to temporarily transfer a portion of my senses to you. Hey. For a short while, you'll be able to see the phlogiston too. Wow, you can even share your senses with us? First time Paimon's heard anything like that. I agree. What the heck? It requires a very rare spell that most people aren't adept at. But don't worry, it's a cinch for me. Between the two of you, it seems the traveler's senses are a bit stronger than Paimon's. Oh no. She's gonna roll so now. When I held your Never hand mind. just now, I could sense that you've got a great affinity for phlogiston. You're extraordinarily gifted. Yeah, I can wield anyway, other elements. We'll need so. to use our vision now to track down Aurora. Yeah. Good luck, you two. Thank you. Over here, this way! <laughs> Lolly might say a lot of deep and confusing stuff, but this spell of hers is really something. Okay. What does she mean by deep and confusing? As far as elderly shamans go, I'd say that I'm already pretty easy to talk to. Is there any other old hag who's as fluent in the language of the youth as me? <laughs> uh, but is my way of speaking still not trendy enough? I've already tried my best to match their speech patterns, but given the looks on their faces just now, or perhaps I'm still not fashionable enough? But that can't be, right? Ugh, don't tell me they're still getting the impression that I'm super old-fashioned. Um, <laughs> she kind of reminds me of Farazan for some reason. I don't know why. It's such a random comp- Oh, Farazan's also really old as well. Was that? See Lolly's voice? Oh my god, please don't tell me they can hear each other. Uh, now that I think about it, it's a good thing I found some helpers this time. Some things are best done with the help of friends. Oh, she considers us friends. They appear to be feeling quite confident. <laughs> it looks like our work will go smoothly. <laughs> I love this. You bet. Just leave it to us. She has no idea. It's what? How does she not hear us, though? Like there's a new camp over there. <clears throat> yeah. Judging by Paimon's experience as a guide, it definitely looks like people set up camp here. Oh uh, wait. <clears throat> The phlogiston oh. here is a bit odd. My. Let me see. Okay. Hyman <sighs> sees a small shape here. Could it be some sort of symbol? This is a distress signal for the masters of the night wind. Only someone from our tribe would recognize it. So Auroron was indeed being threatened. Oh no. We've got to find him <coughs> fast. Uh, leaving such a subtle mark implies that he was trying to be discreet. In other words, he was probably under the Fatui's watch. Uh, if they notice us, we can just charge in and fight them to the death. Okay. But, uh, but what if my darling grandson is also there? What? I can't have him caught in the crossfire. She has a grandson? No, I've got to be careful. Otherwise, he'd get hit as well. Uh, how annoying. <sighs> no. No, I've got to stay calm <coughs> and keep my composure. Ah. <laughs> I love how me and Paimon are just like, yeah, we hear your thoughts. We're gonna have the same reaction. Alright. What's the hurry? I mean, I could get this stone right. Hopefully, easily. No, no, it's gonna take me forever. No, I'd rather not. I'd rather not. I'm sorry. I'd rather not do that. I'd rather just get Kachina and just 
Oh, wait, no. Kachina's not a claymore. Do I have any claymores? I don't even think I do. There are traces of people staying here, too. Oh, wait a second. The phlogiston around here is jumbled up. Mm -hmm. I can also smell a mix of elements in the air. Pyro, electro, and Pyro, some electro? other elements as well. Oh. And each told us that you were super amazing. No wonder you can sense so many more things than us. Huh. <laughs> it's about time that little brat said something nice about me. Wow. <sighs> there are signs okay. of a struggle here. <laughs> Paimon just like, really? Scene. There must have been a fight. But after that, the factions seem to have gone their separate ways. Both the phlogiston and the elemental traces in the air support that. Seems like Aurora found a chance to fight back. Do you still remember the little mark we found before? Paimon's thinking, what if Aurora wanted to leave another distress signal, but was caught by the Fatili? Satelli looks pretty worried. Indeed, judging by the distress signals from him before, Aurora was being held by the Fatui. So given the difference in numbers, he probably wouldn't have been able to overpower them. Given there are two signals leading from here, we should split up as well. Okay. I'll take this direction and leave the other one to you. Okay, we don't say anything to her. What the heck were you doing? It's one thing to trouble me, but now I have to bring other people into this as well. Oh, you little brat. <laughs> and off she goes. Traveler, did you hear all of that as well? Yep. Once Seed Lolly left, that voice went away as well. Paimon even tried calling her name inside Paimon's head, but there was no response. So the telepathy doesn't go both ways? So you were thinking the same thing. Paimon also thought that if we could hear what she was thinking, then she could probably also hear what we were thinking in our heads. Yeah, I don't think Sitali noticed anything. She did say that she was quite adept at this spell, and it doesn't sound like she's had any trouble with it in the past. Huh, maybe we're a special case and can hear her thoughts as a side effect. Probably. <laughs> if you think about it, she's really got a lively inner world. It paints quite a different picture from Paimon's first impression of her. Yeah. I mean, I got a different impression of her when I was able to hear her thoughts in the first place. Well, when we were able to hear her thoughts in the first place. During the first interaction with uh, Shalon and her and us. Paimon sees some traces here. Let's follow them and see if we can find anything up ahead. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's proceed. This is going to be a long video, but I do hope you will enjoy it. I also stream various things on Twitch if you wish to join me on there. And you can join my Discord server. There's no traces. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see. I found some traces of phlogiston. Paimon's right. This is all extremely strange. Also, so you can hear the sounds of the wind from beneath the earth. What? Is that him, Auroron? Hello, Auroron. I can hear your voice. Huh? The voices. What was that just now? What is going on? I bet I passed out in the real world. Like, Paimon just be like, Wake up! Wake up! Cutscene? No? Yeah? Ooh, nice. Oh, this looks special. What is this place? The Night Kingdom? How did I get here? Oh yeah, that's definitely a raw run. I'm very sorry, but please do not move. I have no desire to hurt you. Okay. I apologize that our first meeting has to take place like this. It's just that you're much like one of those animals with ears that perk up as soon as it senses danger in their environment. And given your combat proficiency, I would not have been able to gain an advantage over you if you were anywhere else in the world. However, you're now in the Night Kingdom, a familiar domain to the masters of the Nightwind. 
Hello, traveler. I'm Auroron, the one you've been searching for. Okay. But does this mean, have you escaped the Fatui's custody? Ah, the Fatui's custody. I see. So even Granny has told you that I was coerced by the Fatui. Okay. Oh, God, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm afraid you've been brought here by a lie. Like a false omen in the lingering smoke. He looks so cool. Like, he looks really, really cool. I'm just, I don't want to make, uh, like, put down the voice actor, but I don't feel like this voice actor fits Auroron at all. I was kind of expecting him to sound even more badass because he looks badass and I kind of wanted a voice that would match that. I'm so sorry. I don't like talking mean about the voices. My friend and I only left those traces to lure you here. Deceiving you was never our true intent, however. It was simply the fastest and most feasible way for us to set up a meeting. It's the captain? Greetings, traveler from afar. Oh, yes. Oh, daddy <laughs> captain, yes. <Traveler>. Sorry. <laughs> His soul is temporarily restrained by us, and it appears to have become more fragile in the process. It's taking all my concentration to hold on to him. It was I who tasked Auroron with leaving the traces to lead you here. And okay. I who used the Master's ritual to bring your soul to the Night Kingdom. What do you want? I've heard much about you from the past encounters you've had with my colleagues. Given the present situation in Natlan, I would like to sincerely request a formal meeting with you, in person. Okay. I will use the opportunity to explain my goals and motivations. He is so tall! As well as why I mistrust Malwika, the Pyro Archon. I believe there is little reason for you to blindly follow her plan. If you would like to hear our intel, then find us to the east of the stadium. But remember, not a word of this to anyone. I would like to avoid any further conflict. <sighs> okay. Oh man. You'll see me again once you return to reality. No matter what I say, please help me keep this a secret. This is all to avoid dragging Granny into this conflict. Okay. Uh, I don't know why, but I oddly trust the captain. But I feel like they. they Morvika and the captain have different perspective on things. So th I think they might both not be perfect. But maybe they can combine and uh, collaborate with each other. Which is a theory that I accidentally brought up in my members only video. In my Milvaka versus uh, the captain. I actually mentioned something about them collaborating together. To defeat this uh, common known enemy. I feel like that's the way it might go. Uh, I'm fine. My soul, wait, was my soul force? Wait, was my soul forcibly removed from my body just now? That would explain why I couldn't hear Paimon at all. Hey, why are you sitting on the ground? Are you okay? See, Lolly, he froze for a moment and then just collapsed to the ground. Could it have been those leftover remnants from the Night Kingdom? Do you have any itches or pain anywhere? I'm fine, just a little lightheaded. Uh, don't worry. We can take a short break. Sorry, I know I asked for your help. But had I known you were feeling unwell, I wouldn't have taken you on this trip with me. Oh, if they were being truthful... Hang on, hang on. If they were being truthful, then they must have reasonable motivation for what they did. But should I trust them? I don't know why. I, I want to trust them. I don't trust you, but I want to. I could just share everything with Paimon and Sitali right now, but that would mean giving up on the land. I mean, on the lead. <laughs> I still haven't had much dealings with either the Fitui or the Masters of the Nightwind. I suppose I'll stay quiet for now and see if I can find out anything else. If you're feeling sick, you should just say so. See, Lolly should be able to... Uh Exercise any ghosts or weird stuff that you picked up in the Night Kingdom. Oh no. A seasoned traveler must know the importance of not pushing yourself beyond your limit. If you need anything from me, just say the word. Thanks, everyone. I'm feeling fine now. Oh, there's a ley line right there. In any case, let's take a bit more time to rest now. 
Okay. Fair enough. Bro, I really hope you get compensation rewards for this dialogue thing, though. It is quite a minor inconvenience. It, <sighs> honestly, it just showed you the be amount more of... careful next time. Feeling better yet, Traveler? Like, the implications of having voices removed, it, it really does affect the game in quite a significant way, in my own opinion. Again, it's my opinion, it's not a fact. So, you know. All right, let's get ready. Okay. I followed my phlogiston trail earlier to a stronghold guarded by soldiers. I have a feeling that Auroron is probably being held inside. Mm. Oh, so it's close by. Then let's head over right away. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize I was holding you up. Well, I recruited you to be my helper, which means we're in this together. Like the wind and the clouds. We either move as one or not at all. Oh, but no. If you want to make it up to me, then just be sure to fight extra hard when the time comes. Oh. I don't know why I kind of like her design. I like her eyes. I really love them. <laughs> it's full of... It, it looks so expressive. Well... Yeah. <laughs> no, don't attack me. I don't want to attack you. Oh, there's a lot of it doing here. Will these guys attack me? I don't know. Look over there. Paimon thinks she sees someone in the middle of the camp. That's Auroron. So he really was taken by the Fatui. So that's Auroron. He does look the same as when I spoke to him in the Night Kingdom earlier. All right, we'll take the lead. <laughs> no, Paimon. <laughs> oh. Hey, quit daydreaming. Don't you have work to do? I cannot see the sun. Uh, what? <laughs> Without the sun, I cannot see the truth. You are currently blocking the light, so I must beseech you to move aside. Huh? Okay, Mr. Philosopher. That's enough mumbo jumbo. <sighs> wow. I'm going to rip that guy's head right off. <laughs> See, Lolly's struggling to control her temper now. Oh. <sighs> Understandable. Well, let's go kick their butts. Okay. On my count. Three, two, one. Oh, no. You're still trying to resist. Oh, no sugar. Hang on. You're up wait, wait, wait. That's Hydro, right? I gotta make sure he doesn't live. Oh, God. No, no, no. Damn it! He got his ability. I'm sad. Okay, whatever. Yeah, we are. I'm wait I really wanted to get the Hydro guy first because he's just so hard to take out. If you know, you know. The wah. Leaving so soon. Let's just get him out first, and then we can get this guy out. This uh, work of Hydra and Cryo, just keep them frozen for a long period of time. I think this is the strat I can go for at the moment. Oh shit, hang on. There we are. Okay, uh, my priority right now is the uh, guy in Geo, because he's just going to keep summoning stuff over and over again. Okay, this is another strat. Just to uh, keep plunging my way. Okay, never mind. Oh, please. There's a lot of Fatui as well. Oh my goodness. Ow. Oh, he's still alive? Damn. Okay, now I can get this guy. He should be easy. A lot more easier, for sure. Okay. Boom. Okay, that should be it. Nice. Okay. Oh my goodness, I was expecting more. Aurora. Oreo. Um, Paimon knows she's called Granny Eats to Lead, but it's still kind of weird hearing someone actually call her Granny. <laughs> Come on, bro. She's gonna be angry at that. And greetings to you too, Gramps. Gramps? What did you just call him? Gramps, is that not right? You're Granny's friend, are you not? 
Bruh. You seem to be approximately the same age as her, so I figured you've got to be Gramps. How many times have I told you? It doesn't work like that. There are a lot of people who look about oh, the same no. age as me. You can't go around calling oh. everyone Gramps or... Gramps. I love how angry she's getting. Wait, wait, wait. He's not a child, is he? Don't tell Paimon he's one of those people who look like an adult but are actually only eight or nine years old. <laughs> oh, your words have pierced my heart like a thorn vine. Given how hard those thorns are to remove, I may just need to find a pair of tweezers. Okay. Why are you so upset? You can just say yes or no. Of course I'm not a child. It's just Bro. Granny always taught me to show gratitude where it's due. And since the masters of the night wind raised me collectively, I basically see everyone above a certain age as an elder I should look up to. Paimon's talking about, oh, don't say you're a child, but look at her. She's probably like a thousand years old or something. And this guy, Paimon... Do you not hear the puberty in his voice? The way he talks definitely changed, but it doesn't feel like he's putting on, on an act. He asked me to do whatever I could to help keep the things a secret, and even said it will be for Satani's sake. Uh, so you treat everyone like they're your uncles and aunties? Or gramps and grannies? Exactly. Do you think saying all of this is going to save you from a scolding, Auroron? <sighs> Haven't I told you a hundred times since you were a kid? Heed the three warnings. Okay. Be wary of bees prowling around, scammers looking for their next victim, and strange people who appear out of nowhere. Oh, so you do remember, and you just chose to ignore them. I always knew that living on your own was going to get you into trouble sooner or later. But getting, you won't always be able to rely on other people coming to your rescue, you know. You're just lucky we got here when we did. Or we might be launching another search and rescue operation to find out where they put your severed head. Okay. I'm sorry, Granny. I'll be more careful next time. Next time? <laughs> oh, good one. You think there'll be a next time after this? Not a chance. <sighs> They didn't I like his you, design so much. Did they? No, they just asked me a lot of questions about Natlin's terrain and made me draw a map of the ley line distribution. Okay, now answer me honestly. Were you the one who helped the captain escape after his battle with the pyro arc? Oh no. Yes. Oh yes. So why did you do it? Because, because they said they would need my help from there on out. They also said that if I refused, they'd just come to you, Granny, and they'd already figured out a way to make you do their bidding. Hey, I'm no ordinary Granny. Would they really dare to come after me? And you! Did the gods give you a brain just for you to not use it? <laughs> Did you really believe everything they said at face value and not stop to think? Yikes. Uh, thankfully, the Pyro Archon only asked that we find the mysterious individual from the Masters of the Night Wind and didn't slap your name on a wanted poster. Don't think for a second that she doesn't know what's happening. Even if the truth that you see will soon manifest into reality, there is still no need to preemptively panic. Have you forgotten the words that I've taught you? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. It. We can submit the details of this camp and the defeated Fatui as evidence of your innocence. Let's clean this place up and get back to the city. We'll clean Aurora, up the dead bodies? You better remember this lesson well and seriously reflect on your actions. Also, once we return to the city, come to the speaker's chamber with me. Okay. I'll need you to explain everything. Sounds good. Should I bring some of my homegrown vegetables as well? Your vegetables? Yes, I grow a lot of fresh produce in my garden. I hope the Pyro Archon won't be too picky about the selection. I kind of like how casual he is, though. Time to be thinking about that. If you do come face to face with the Pyro Archon, the first thing you should do is recite the three warnings. Huh? No, you should emphasize that you were not in cahoots with the Fatui. How exactly did the Masters raise this guy? <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Uh, for those wondering how I got Jinquo, 
Oh, sorry, Waterboy. Uh, I got him via the Lantern Rite events when you get to pick a free character. Someone in my comments previously mentioned and asked a question upon how I got him. As for Jean, I got her via the Five Star Selector, which isn't a form of gacha. I see. So Auroron came to the captain's rescue because he promised to help him in exchange for Seat Lolly's safety. That's right. I'm sorry. Now that you know Auroron was only trying to protect another member of his tribe, could I ask you to petition the Pyro Archon for her forgiveness? We'll give her a full report. We'll let you know once she's reached a decision. Will I need to stay here? Technically, yes. But if Miss Seat Lolly is willing to serve as your guarantor, then we can release you from custody. Okay. Uh, sure. I'd be happy to do that. I don't have any more time to waste here. I still have other things to do. Okay, then. Understood. Thank you very much. Mr. Auroron, please report back to the speaker's chamber as soon as you've received notice of the Archon's decision. I understand. Thank you. And thank you, too, Granny. Huh. Well, at least you won't need to hide your face anymore. Traveler, Paimon, thank you very much for your help. Hoi have definitely cut down on the budget worry. of these voices. I forgotten about my side of the deal. Once Auroron is settled, I'll go talk to Shilonen and get started on forging an ancient name for you. Oh, thank you! Hey, I'll be counting on you. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. It's as good as done. I can scratch my own back. I'm really flexible. Your thumbs or something while you wait I'm, I'm issue scratching my back right now. Bye for now. Come with me, Auroron. You've got to find you a place to stay for the night. All right, yeah, Auroron. Aurora. Bye, Gramps. Oh, please don't call me that. The new grandson of mine is way too polite. Hmm. That look on his face, he was, pro he was probably trying to remind me of my promise. He doesn't strike me as a liar. Had I not seen everything for myself, I'd have never guessed that he could have done so much work behind Sitali's back. What does he really want? Paimon, there's something I need to tell you. Huh? What is it, Traveler? Oh, we can't tell us. We can't say anything here. Come on. What? Shut the fuck! Shut up! Keep your voice down! Uh, sorry. Paimon just didn't see that coming. So you really saw him in the Night Kingdom? And he didn't attack you? Oh, that Aurora, what is he up to? He sounded earnest enough just now. Paimon would have never guessed anything was happening. All that stuff about protecting Seat Lolly and being forced to help the Fatui, when he's actually been a willing accomplice all along. We still need more information. Yeah, you're right. Still, Paimon appreciates you telling her about this. Bro, you're my companion. I have to tell you everything. No matter what, so if you want to go, we can go together. Okay. We still have another whole day before the meeting, so we'll just meet with them when the time comes. All right, we can do that for sure. Can I unlock Pyro still, or do I have to wait till some sort of some sort of part of the story? Oh my goodness, my brain no, it, my brain do not be raining tonight. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's uh, da, 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 da. there we are. Okay. Twenty the next day. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Okay. 20 for the next day. Let's go. Uh, let me put a timestamp real quick. I need to use a bathroom break. I'm back from my bathroom break. Okay, let's go to the agreed location. I can't wait for this. I think this is going to be really important throughout the story. Obviously, that's my guess. They're going to tell us everything about why his way of doing things is right and why Morvaka's might not be the best. I mean, look, at the end of the day, they're both human beings, so they're both going to probably make mistakes along their plans, which I feel like means that we will have to collaborate with each other so that we have a both, like, a final conclusion. Okay. <sighs> I can't wait for this. I cannot wait. Okay. <laughs> Please don't let this be a trap. There he is. What was that? Good evening. 
Nice to see you again. Hey, likewise. Oh, it's you. I trust these guys for some reason. I'm terribly sorry. It's just a force of habit. It's fine. Ugh. And what's with you apologizing all the time? You sound so polite and honest, but you're actually doing shady stuff behind people's backs. You're right. Granny tells me that too. <laughs> huh. Come to think of it, you remind me of her. Sometimes you two sound really similar, you know. <laughs> oh, so you're gonna call Paimon Granny too now? Yes, Paimon, you are very, very old. This is like ultimate foreshadowing. Hoyaverse just just revealed the plot with with, with Paimon already. Oh my goodness. Well, <laughs> I could. All right, let's get straight to the point. Hmm. Um, no one's around. Yeah, I was expecting to see the captain. Over to you. Excellent. The fact that you showed up proves that I was right about your character. I don't really care how the Fatui thinks of me. Yet, there's been a lot of talk about you. Child told me that you're passionate about the unknown and willing to take risks. Rather than facing you as an enemy, I would much prefer to bring you to my side. Okay. If we allow the current state of things to continue, we will inevitably clash. And that's a scenario that I'd very much like to avoid. Why? I've long heard of your exploits across the nations. Though you have crossed swords with my colleagues many times, I know that you are by no means an unreasonable person. And once you've learned the truth that the Pyro Archon Malwika would never willingly share with you, you may just find it in your heart to consider my proposal. Okay. I assume you've already been informed of the Pyro Archon's plan. In order to defeat the Abyss and save Natland, she still needs two more heroes to appear. Wait, how did you know that? Uh, never mind. Guess that's not important now. I've long kept a close eye on her plan. To be frank, it's an exceedingly risky plan. Will the heroes really appear? And even if they come to her, will their power be enough to drive the Abyss back? Mm. If any part of the plan goes awry, all of Natland, even all of Tabat, will pay for her mistakes. Okay, so this is a really fragile situation and it's really uncertain without any guaranteed success. And he's saying that the risk is just too much. Now, you may have been led to believe that this is the only plan available to her. But what if I told you she's had another emergency plan all along? The details of which she has chosen to keep hidden from you. Hmm, why would he do that? Nice lips, by the way. I can see your shadow. You're just a... A figure. Also, I love that he has a Jotro hat. It kind of reminds me of Jotro, you know. <laughs> An emergency plan. Yes, a way to keep Natlan intact, even if her original plan fails. But given the painful cost of its execution, she has chosen to keep it as a mere backup plan. Whether this stems from hesitation, fear, or even naivete, I cannot say. But Natlan cannot afford to wait until she comes to her senses. My fear is that given the enormity of the decision, she will be reluctant to confront the dire reality we face until it is too late. Mm. There will be no time left to execute the backup plan, and all of Natlan will be lost to the abyss. We have to make the decision for her, here and now. That's just your speculation. A bunch of scary stuff isn't enough, you know. Besides, wasn't it you who tried to seize the gnosis for the Tsaritsa clan? Wait, by seizing the gnosis and making the decision for her, could he mean that the gnosis has something to do with this backup plan? Oh my god, I already know this. I knew you to be clever enough to see. That's right. I did not seek the gnosis for the Tsaritsa. Since I was defeated in battle, I must put to rest my thoughts about the Gnosis. But even so, my desire to save Natlan remains unchanged. And now, I have found a new way to solve the crisis. We can implement it immediately if we reach an agreement. Okay. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, someone's here. Oh, great. Huh? The captain disappeared! <laughs> I love that. He's rapidly approaching. Oh no. What? Something. Bad news, chump. It's your granny. Oh, how do we explain this? Hey, Lolly, what did you 
me here! <sighs> I knew something was amiss after we were separated. Hidden ceremonial tools, an unconscious traveler. I must say, I'm very curious about what you're up to. Oh no. How dare you go behind our backs like this, Auroron? Colluding with the Fatui? Really? Uh. Oh, here we go again. Cat got your tongue, huh? You really think you can avoid a scolding just by staying quiet? That's basically my way of coping. I'm not trying to avoid anything. Oh, and now you're talking back. Well, go on then. Explain yourself. What the heck are you up to? I'm sorry, Granny. I feel so guilty. Ugh, you! That's it! Where are my tools? I swear, if I don't teach you a lesson right here and now, I'll... Uh, wait, Tivali! Please, calm down. We, uh, still learned a lot of info, didn't we? Like the fact that the captain isn't trying to seize the Gnosis anymore. What? So maybe wait, wait, wait. Was she here the whole time? Okay? Well, uh, yeah, this is no place to discipline a child. Uh, listen well, Auroron. You're only getting out of this now because of the Traveler's plea. This isn't over. You hear me? Uh, you're right, Traveler. God damn it. Let's go. We can discuss this more back in the city. You two keep an eye on Auroron for me, okay? Damn it. Why does she have to interrupt the captain? <laughs> Wait, our conversation with the captain was interrupted at the most crucial moments, but if Auroron's still here, the crucial moment for plot reasons, if Auroron's still here, maybe we can still learn the rest from him. I love how he's just smiling in the background. I don't know why, but Auroron kind of reminds me of me in some certain instances. The way how he responds to things. It's how I usually respond with my family. Especially during scolding. <laughs> In all my years, I've never had a child cause me so much grief. Do you seriously not see what's at stake here? You've got a head on your shoulders, Auroron. Use it. Why did you help the captain? And I want the truth this time. Uh. Oh no. <laughs> no answer? Think you're being smart? <sighs> then let me ask a different question. What does the captain want? What is his purpose in Natlan? Uh. He can't say anything. <sighs> really? You're just going to stonewall me? Uh. Looks like Auroron has no intentions of answering her. <sighs> just Use your brain for a second. What do you possibly stand to gain by helping the captain? Only endless trouble awaits you and everyone in the tribe. You've always been a good kid. Why would you throw that all away now? If you're worried about something, just talk to me. Granny would much rather we had a conversation instead of constantly clashing like this. Oh, this is awkward. Um, uh, what, do you want us to do something? Why is he staring at us all of a sudden? I'm sorry that you have to hear all this. Oh. It's fine. <laughs> You're very kind. Most people would have fled by now. Not everyone can handle Granny's scolding. Hmm. Oh? You dare gossip between yourselves instead of listening to me? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry, Granny. <sighs> sorry, Granny. <laughs> Granny. You oh know god. What? Fine. I'm perfectly aware that everything I say goes in one ear and out the other. You're all grown up now. So why would you listen to an old hag like me? You say all the right things, but then you go and completely ignore me. Well, if that's how you're going to treat me, you can stop sending Aoife over to my place to deliver your stupid vegetables. I don't need anything from you. Jesus. Um, who's Aoife? A Aoife? It's like a bootleg version of Aoife. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that's irrelevant. The point is, he hangs out with this kid, so he must be no good. Uh, you kids get to a certain age and suddenly act like you know it all. There's nothing I can say to get through to you. Uh, Auroron, if you're still thinking about that so-called duty, then please, just forget about it. The ley lines did not fall to this state because of you. And we've long closed the book on that incident. 
Uh, seems they've started talking about some kind of tribal history. I'm on starting to get lost. That's not it, Granny. Oh? There's something off about that voice. I know you tend to get down on yourself when you're upset, but I can tell I really hurt you this time. All I can say is I'm sorry. His voice? Auroron! Where have you gone? It sounds like he's somewhere super far away, but isn't he right here in front of us? I'm really sorry. It's up to all of us to do everything we can to save Natlin. So I've got to go. What? what? Get back here this instant! Auroron! Ugh, what is this? Powder from plant spores? Is that the trick he used? What? What just happened? How was he able to suddenly get so far away like that? Oh, it's a trick of his. If you grind spores into a powder and spray it in the air, it can be manipulated to create an illusion. He pulled oh. it off flawlessly. He must have put a lot of time into perfecting it. Don't tell me that's how he's been hunting in the fields these days. Ugh, little brat. That's it. The next time we meet, I'm definitely going to break his leg. Oh my god, she's scary. Oh, no, that's a little extreme. <laughs> But still, why does he feel like he needs to run from us? If his goal is also to protect Natland, then can't we work together? He still doesn't want to tell us anything about his goals. Uh, I'm sorry for interrupting your conversation with them earlier. But even if you'd been able to hear them out, there's no guarantee you would have gained anything substantial. Auroron probably did everything he could to get away because he knew I'd get the truth out of him sooner or later. The captain probably has some sort of substantial plan, otherwise Auroron wouldn't have no reason to keep following him. Meeting, uh, meeting again is out of the cards for now, so if so, it might be faster to just approach the Pyro Archon and confirm what the captain said. And also, I can tell that Auroron's stubbornness has hurt Itali deeply. I need to find a way to comfort her. What was all that about Auroron's duty? earlier uh, uh, we've got quite a long walk back to the city let's take our time it'll give me a moment to figure out how to explain all this okay I've gotten used to the hissing every single time she says an s word s -s -s. <sighs> let's go time to act. Boingo oingo. Okay, now I could just teleport there rather than just walking over there. Although it would have been nice to just walk in there because, you know, it's more massive in gameplay, but it doesn't really matter. So, yeah, drink some more water real quick. Do you two have some time? Feeling hungry? How about we get something to eat? All right, it's been a while since we last ate. Now that we can relax, Paimon just realized how hungry she is. What time is it? Uh, then let's go. God damn. We can find somewhere to sit down and talk. Food and drinks are on me. It's okay. We can cover our own bill. Uh, really? <laughs> You're not going to take her offer? Ah, uh, that's right. See, Lolly has gotten a lot quieter since Aurora ran away. She seems to be having a hard time. Uh, she's right. We're seasoned adventurers, so we're more than capable of paying our own bill. In it. Hey, come on now. You won't even let me take you out for some food and drinks? <sighs> I just wanted to treat you to a meal. Uh, are you sure? We can save you some Mora. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mora is the least of my concerns. Besides, we're definitely due a meal after all the time we've spent together. Mm. Let me get this one. <laughs> I might be an old hag, but I like to think I'm not completely useless. Sure. She is such a weird that, character. But Hyman doesn't want you to be sad, Sweet Lolly. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sure a juicy grilled steak will work wonders. Oh, I could do with some meat. I love chicken. Chicken is my favorite meat. If it's a uh, boneless chicken, I'm all for it. Oh, and fish. I love fish. You know, fish and chips. Yeah. My favorite type of fish is cod and haddock. What's the hurry? Oh, right. And the, those are... Uh, fish fillets from McDonald's. Although I haven't had McDonald's in like, I think a couple of years now. <clears throat> Do 
due to the boycott. <clears throat> the three of you walk into a tavern and find a quiet spot to sit. Okay. You and Paimon order some food and fruit juice while Sitali begins chugging down bottles after bottles of wine. People standing by the door. Oh, she's drunk. They look, like spitting look at her images of each other. Her face. Are they twins? Yeah, I see it now. <laughs> but I might only see the one person there. <laughs> Don't tell me we have alcohol as well. Oh, how could that be? Uh, I guess my mind isn't as sharp as it used to be. Oh yeah, she's definitely. She's stress drinking right now, bro. She's trying to get rid of her pains. I'd be surprised if she wasn't. There you go, miss. Oh my! Thought every day you get to see Granny Itzley here with some friends. Not to mention <laughs> ones who've made a huge name for themselves recently. Oh, so you've heard of us? <laughs> of course I have. Wait, so you call her Granny? Well, given our ages, huh? Gossiping about me right in front of my face now, are you, Chanka? <laughs> Please, Granny, I wouldn't dare. I'm just beyond happy to see you bring over some new friends. After all, any friends of our regulars are sure to be great customers, too. Sure. All right, that's enough. Go on now. I'm sure the other customers would like to talk to you as well. Clerk. <laughs> Well then, you have my I like how the NPCs all look different. In obviously they put more attention to the NPCs and how, how they uh, make all these characters. They look a lot better nowadays. As to be expected as it has a higher budget and they you know they're growing in popularity Genshin Impact Toyverse and all that jazz. <sighs> yeah, she's so drunk. Oh, the other hiccup on there. That's accurate. You want to test your skills against Granny Eatsley, don't ya? No. Uh, are you still with the seat lolly? You're kind of talking to no one. Uh, you chumps come around here. Picking fights with me? Well, you know what happens next. You lose, and then run off home to tell everyone about how I'm this big scary bully. It's always the same story. Aww. You brats start it, I finish it, and then I end up with the reputation of being some kind of terrible monster among the shamans. This is sad because this is actually how she feels. On, when people are drunk, they monster. obviously reveal, What the hell's wrong with his face? <laughs> I'm sorry, Sitali, I got distracted by the NPC behind you. Exactly. And while we're at it, I'm not some lazy slacker either. <laughs> Between meditation, How? advising the chief, and speaking with the Wyab, I actually have a pretty packed schedule, you know. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I have to mentor all the new kids. What? Hey, new kid. Yeah, you. Guess Simon, new kid. Uh, don't play dumb. Didn't I teach you how to find Flo Justin? You see, I know my stuff. I'm a good teacher. Abs absolutely. Oh, that's more like it. About dang time someone showed me a little respect. Yeah, Granny's a hard worker, all right. You can always rely on old granny. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeps. Yep, she's freaking knocked out. Did she just fall asleep with her eyes open? That's crazy. Oh, my sister does that. That is so creepy. I remember just like seeing her just asleep, but with her eyes open like a snake. It was freaking creepy. I don't know how people can sleep with their eyes open. Ah, she's meditating again. She does this whenever she's had a few too many drinks. 
Her mind's actually racing at this point. It's quite the opposite of sleep. Mm. Is this another specialty of the Masters of the Nightwing? No, I'd say it's a warning. Warning. Red. Red, the color of danger, has now arisen within that pair of eyes. Huh? Whoa. Are you awake? A uh, traveler? Paimon? What's wrong? Uh, 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 I'm gonna hurl. <laughs> oh, no. Hang on. Just keep it in. Uh, uh, phew. Okay, it's passed. Uh, that was a close one. Ew. <laughs> you had Paimon worried. Paimon really thought you were about to barf all over the table. <laughs> Blam! <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see me like that. That's never happened before, I swear. I've never thrown up. Not once. We didn't ask about before. Are you feeling okay? Wanna take a quick walk and get some fresh air? Uh, uh, there's so much that I want to say, but... So much you can't say. I can't. Yeah. Why not? Of course you can. Just say whatever's on your mind. Okay. Uh, please, Paimon. It's not as simple as you think. We've only known each other for a few days, right? Mm hmm What would you think of me if I were to start dumping all of my complaints on you after we've only just met? Oh, Paimon gets it. You're hoping that we wouldn't think less of you no matter what you're about to say. Uh, no, that wasn't <laughs> my point at all. Seriously, don't you youngsters know anything about shame? I'm talking no. about shame. I've lived all these years and still can't get rid of it. Oh. Sh um, actually, <laughs> about that. Should we just tell her? Huh? Tell me what? Yeah, this is as good a time as any. All right, Sitali. Listen carefully and try not to get too upset. You described the events that took place during Oron's rescue as objectively fairly and impartially as possible. Sitali shares some of her sensitive view through the spell, allowing you to uh, temporarily hear her thoughts. Oh, we tell her that we can hear her thoughts, okay. This is so... you heard... you heard my... It's okay, Sitali. You had every right to complain about those things. Uh, I can't take it anymore! Why do these things happen to me? Hearing me mumble under my breath is one thing, but hearing what I mumble in my own head? That's a bit too much, I agree. Too much. I agree. Those are some giant tacos, by the way. <laughs> your pajamas, but you forget to lock the door, and someone bursts in to deliver cabbages and seize the whole thing. What? Wait, when you're rolling on the floor in your pajamas? What? That is so oddly pacific. Why would you happens to people in general, okay? Doesn't matter if you're two hundred years old or a thousand years old. Everyone rolls around in their pajamas sometimes. <laughs> cool. I was just picking something generic. Dude. <sighs> Are you okay? You look you look dejected. This has gone so horrible. Take a walk with me. I have things to share with you. Looks like she's completely given up. Like those criminals who just confess everything and accept <laughs> their fate. <laughs> Paimon, those are some huge tacos, bro. Look at all that meat. How much are they selling these for? We should follow her just to make sure she doesn't do anything stupid. Did you just call me stupid? That's what I would expect her to say that. Damn. They actually put so much details into these NPCs. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is going to be such a long video, bro. I don't even know if I can upload it today in one go. I think this this Archon quest is actually going to be so huge. Okay. I might need to make like a part two or something. Well, this is going to, obviously going to be part four because I'm doing like a whole Natland series with the whole wish locks at the same time. Oh, well, great view, right? Wow, it's beautiful. Thank you for bring us, bringing us here. <laughs> You're making me want to cry. Oh. oh no, wouldn't you? Uh, please don't cry. I was an expression, okay? A figure <laughs> of speech. I'm just... Uh, embarrassed. Mm. Here you are thanking me. Even after you helped me all this time. 
Let's just have a casual conversation. Okay. It's easiest that way. Fair enough. Really? You don't <laughs> seem like the kind of person who keeps things casual. Well, I guess I used to be more of a stickler for the rules. And you're right. I don't usually open up to the people of my tribe like this. I'm just an eccentric old hag to them. That story has been passed down so long. It might as well be true. But you're just a regular person. <laughs> uh, the kids of my tribe would have a heart attack if they heard you say that. Granny Eatsley is a powerful figure. Be careful around her. That's what they'd say. Well, you are powerful. Are they afraid of you? Uh, some are. Others are mad I always come out on top. <laughs> a few decades Jealous. like that. And people stop knowing how to deal with you. What about you? Are you scared of me? We don't find you scary at all. Paimon's right. Huh. That's because you're not from my tribe. You don't know how many delusions of grandeur I've destroyed just by existing. <laughs> I make people realize that no matter how hard they work, they'll never become a living legend like me. Oh, uh, not to brag or anything. <laughs> Maybe it's hard to believe. Just... Just pretend I never said anything. It's alright. Are we like therapists or something? Yes, but Auroran's a special case. Mawika already told you about her plan. And you've given so much help to Auroran and me. Mm. Auroran's not like other people. As I mentioned, he was abandoned as a child. The reason being, his soul is incomplete. The masters of the Nightwind view this as a bad omen. Capable of bringing about illness and misfortune. No one knows who his parents were. He was just left on a rock in the wilderness. It's a uh, miracle he wasn't like devoured by some wild beast. The masters of the Nightwind believe they can see human souls. And in Auroran's incomplete soul, they saw a possibility for Natlan. A possibility to turn Auroran into a vessel for lost souls. Oh no, that sounds the horrible. ceremony would allow lost souls to gather within him. Auroran would then be sent to the Night Kingdom to return the souls to their rightful place, strengthening the ley lines and completing the ceremony. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Wouldn't that just kill him? Now you see the problem. When damage occurs to the Night Kingdom, the souls held within disperse and remain adrift, unable to find a way back to the ley lines. The ceremony can send back countless souls at once, which would benefit the Night Kingdom and the souls themselves. Of course, the vessel, Auroran, would be sacrificed in the process. I wasn't surprised the chief at the time came up with the plan. The ley lines were already in a terrible state. A suitable candidate for the ceremony appears, and now you have the chance to make things better. When the chief asked for my opinion, I didn't give my approval, but I didn't object either. Mm. So they went ahead with the ceremony. It okay. failed, and Auroran escaped with his life. <laughs> Pathetic, isn't it? By not objecting, I basically gave them the go-ahead. Maybe they didn't have my explicit approval, but it's not like I did the right thing. If the ceremony was successful, Auroran would probably be dead. So Auroran course, is basically broken. In my tribe, death is rarely something to fear. But what kind of message would we be sending by sentencing a newborn to death? Mm. By using a human life as a tool? It's not right. So... When I learned the ceremony had failed, I was ashamed by my inaction and absolutely relieved by the result. Mm. The plan was never a secret. Or, I guess I should say, there was no point to keeping it a secret. A simple investigation from Auroran would reveal everything. Everyone thought he would be happy he survived. 
and he never really said anything to the contrary. But just as I was about to put all of it behind me, uh -oh. he asks this question. Would Natlan have been saved if the ceremony succeeded? Wait, but it's not his fault. Yeah. He knows that, but he still feels guilty. Auroron has a strong ability to perceive souls, more than any of us. He understands just how dire the situation with ley lines has become. Maybe he chose to work with the Fatui because he still thinks he owes a debt to Natlan. I can only imagine what they told him. Traveler, didn't the captain say he'd found a way to solve the crisis? Maybe that's what brought Auroron into this. Hmm. Anyway, we can't just let things go on like this. We have to convince him to come back. Yeah, that should be our next step. I, uh, you don't look so good, Suit Lolly. Maybe you should head back and get some sleep. Uh, probably drank too much. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh, the fresh air is doing me good. We're on a roof. Please get down from the roof. Okay. <laughs> Forget that. I need to go home. I hit it a little too hard. Clearly. Uh, you've <laughs> helped me so much already. Hey, we're friends, aren't we? Uh, good point. Okay, we got it, we got it. Go back home, get some rest. <laughs> friends. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Sure. Friends are really hard to come by nowadays. <sighs> yeah, we should tell the Power Arc of what we learned. We need to, we, she needs to know regardless. Yeah, yeah, Unless the captain appears out of nowhere behind us and tells us, don't. Yawn, let's go. Okay, don't tell me I have to wait a couple of hours. Okay, cool. Nice. <laughs> What's the hurry? There is no hurry. <laughs> okay, let's go here. Meow. Oh, we're in the middle. Where's the NPC that looked really weird? I can't find him. He looks so strange. I think I might just leave this video to be fully unedited because of how long it is. If you're here, say, I don't know. Good job, crack. Say good job, crack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. with a timestamp. It's gonna be so wild if someone's watching still. <laughs> okay. I love this music. Okay. Aw. Had to say goodbye to that music. Yesterday I did a stream with uh, Grand Theft Auto 4. That was around 2-3 hours. This is almost approaching the same amount of time. Except a bit less. Uh, you're already here. Hello. Yeah, really? Let's not bring up last night. Anyway. I was also woken up. I heard many areas have been attacked by the abyss. Okay, I'm kind of speedrunning it a bit. I'm reading the titles, don't worry. I'll be fine. We also have the support. The stadium could always use more manpower. So what about Roron? I'm done making excuses for him. He's not a child anymore. He needs to take responsibility for his actions. Okay. I was the one who vouched for him. So I need to report back to the speaker's chamber. I'll accept however they choose to handle the situation. But I should be able to convince them to let me go back to my tribe first to deal with the attack. As for the ancient name, justice real quick. Once we handle this crisis, I'll talk to Shilonen right away. Don't worry. I never thank you. All right, I need to start heading back. Okay. Good luck with that. She left in a hurry. The situation must be really serious. Clearly. Uh, oh, looks like a lot of people are heading to the stadium. Okay. Oh god, what's gonna happen here? I think we might get a cutscene. This has to be serious, right? Mega serious. Okay. Oh, nice! Reoccurring characters. Please tell me that. Yes, Morlani has a voice! Perfect. Our star Outlander has appeared. Yay. What's with the whole star Outlander thing? Just my way of saying how awesome you are. We've got a real emergency on our hands, so this is the perfect time for you to show off your skills. Okay. Right, but can we get a quick 
quick rundown of the situation first. The Abyss suddenly attacked the Collective of Plenty, the Masters of the Nightwind, the Children of Echoes, and a number of our camps and outposts in the wild. Hmm. Yes, and the attacks are increasing in frequency. The tribes have plenty of defenses, so they're safe for now. But I can't say the same for the adventurers and merchants stuck in the wild. Chaska and I have been searching for survivors and treating the wounded. We just got back, but we need to head out again soon. Okay. I plan on heading back to the Collective of Plenty, just in case my tribe needs me. What about you, Mulalani? Where are you gonna go? I'll go help the Children of Echoes. They're the closest, so I can start fighting right away. What about you guys? We could go together. What the? Her voice sounds so different. Uh, guys, I can never tell if they've actually just replaced voice actors temporarily or if they're using the same ones or if their microphone gear is messed up. Some of them have hisses like Moolani and uh, the other one. Yeah, that does sound important. No worries. Just leave the Children of Echoes to us. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe yours truly will have the Abyss on the run by the time you're finished. That would be pretty great, actually. I hope my tribe gets through okay. It'll be fine. Your tribe doesn't do all that bodybuilding for nothing. <laughs> Let's part ways here for now. Her tribes are bodybuilders? I want to see her tribe now. Be careful, everyone. We don't know much about her tribe. Some of us need to avoid <sighs> Can we... <laughs> it's alright. She's just looking out for everyone. Alright. Let's hurry up and talk to the pyro. Yep, let's go to it. Who's on the banners anyways? Uh, we have Jolin and Chiori. Okay. Wait, are they classed as different banners completely? Hang on, let me just go to my history. Uh, we have character event wish and character event wish 2. Okay, cool. It's classed as the same thing. I never noticed that. They have one and then two. Weapon banner. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, it's you two. Hi, majestic woman. As you can see, things are not looking good right now. People across Natlin are in danger. Look, I'm very interested in your recent adventures, but this is not a good time. So we'll have to keep our conversation short. Okay. That's all right. We're also in a hurry. We're going to go help the children of Echoes after this. We met the captain. What? Well, oh, no punches us in the face what so he thinks my plan is too risky he thinks i'm being stubborn can the gnosis do what he said i shouldn't underestimate the fatui's ability to gather intelligence the gnosis does have that function but there's more to the story i will answer you honestly but you must help me keep this a secret oh my god I everyone's telling us to keep things secrets gnosis to save natlan but it comes at a heavy price. What, sacrificing yourself? The Gnosis would drain all the souls and memories from the Night Kingdom and weave them into a giant net, which would surround the ley lines and protect them against abyssal corrosion. Okay. Wait, you can use souls to weave a net? But does that mean... Yes. It means sacrificing those souls in the process. Souls are just another form of life. The cruelty of this method is self-evident. The Night Kingdom not only houses the souls of the dead, but also our memories and legends. Using the Gnosis means converting all three into material for the net, erasing our history and culture. Damn. Even then, the net can still become corroded. If we cannot find a way to repair the damaged ley lines before that happens, then all those sacrifices are for nothing. Mm. Given the enormity of the price, it's a solution I refuse to consider right now. I want us to win, but I also care about how we win, and what that means for us in the end. Now it's true, both plans come at a risk, but after weighing our options, this is our best bet. It doesn't sound like something a knock would do. Natlan is unique among the nations of Tabat. Given the ever-looming threat of the Abyss, the Pyro Archons had to account for the worst-case scenario. Having a contingency plan is our duty. Not just to the people of Natlan, but to all who live on this continent. Still, this has always been a well-kept secret. I'm very curious how the Captain learned this information. Captain oh, just built yeah. different, bro. <laughs> the Captain said he found another way to solve the problem. 
could be equally as extreme, though. Without the Gnosis, he should have no other option. But I see no reason for him to lie. Seems like our only path forward is to track him down. So he can answer that question for Ooh, us. Ooh, we're gonna meet him? I would love that. Yeah. She seems sincere. Figuring out the captain's supposed new way of saving that land is the key. Judging by your expression, you must have doubted me. Even if just for a second. Maybe a little. Not even a little. We would never... Wait, what are you talking about, Traveler? <laughs> just as expected. I appreciate your sincerity. Maybe yep. it was out of caution, anxiety, or simple curiosity, but know this. No matter what, our goal remains the same. We both want to save the people of this land. So now that you have your answer, do you still doubt me? Mm, not at all. <sighs> you scared Paimon. You've really got a lot of guts, Traveler. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. Oh, and feel free to talk to me about Rebecca. Movika. I'm so sorry. I have a for some reason I have a hard time remembering the power archon's name. So Mo Movika. I don't know why it's so difficult for me to remember it. As for the captain, the intelligence officers we assigned to the Fatui should be back soon. We'll get our answer then. That's great. Sounds like we just have to wait a little longer. Uh, all the current attacks. Not just yet. Even though the abyss is attacking several locations at once. I'm confident the warrior station in those areas can handle it. Okay. Don't worry. I just need to finish coordinating our available manpower, then I'll take a small team to handle the difficult locations. This is going to be absolute hell. Wait, you're going to fight in person? Didn't you give up your power? That's true. I'm far less powerful than a god in my current state. <laughs> but don't forget, I was an experienced and powerful warrior before I ever became the Pyro Archon. No matter how you look at it, my duty is on the front lines. I'm sure you're an inspiration to all the warriors. <laughs> I just think there's strength in numbers. Fair enough. If the people feel emboldened, that's just a bonus. Anyway, even if we respond to these threats in time, it's not a permanent solution in the long run. I've considered moving my people to other nations, but given their close connection to the Night Kingdom, a forced evacuation would have devastating consequences mm. i've told the chiefs of each tribe to strengthen their defenses and advise people against leaving their settlements <clears throat> now i just need to find the right time to disclose the true nature of the crisis to the people of natlan <sighs> pardon me i'm a little worried about how people will react i think a lot of people will join the fight <sighs> yes but that won't be the only response in any case that's for me to worry about. I'll let you know when we have more information on the captain. Okay. All right, we should head out. Maybe we can join up with Moani. Yeah, Keep let's go, right. let's go, let's go. <laughs> okay, sorry guys, we're kind of speedrunning this. I don't know how I'm able to sit here for hours and hours. I've been doing that recently. The stream yesterday was quite long. I think my, my voice is kind of just like disintegrated a bit. And uh, my force is just depleted to nothingness. It's what happens when I sit for long durations of time doing the same thing over and over. I need to keep doing something different. Okay. Hopping with Kaya. Actually, that's surprisingly slow. I'm gonna meet Violin again, I think. Oh. Oh no, am I gonna have to voice again? Kachina, how many people do you have left? They've all made it out! <laughs> Oh wait. It's Aeok, it's Crack, No Wish Air 55, and Paimon, they're here! What's the situation? There's a trapped caravan that needs our help. We need to rescue them as soon as possible. We'll go together. I'm, I'm coming too! Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. I'm gonna get memed for this so hard. Someone just might make a compilation of me doing this sort of stuff. Well, I doubt it, but you know, there might be one person out there. What's the hurry? It'd be funny. <gasps> Stay safe. We've got this. <gasps> yes, I get to play as that. I don't have to play the same characters. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh shoot. I've uh. 
Yep, hang on, let me just, uh, boom. Boom. I don't know how to play these characters, I'm sorry. Hiya. What are we, what are we fighting? Oh, right, right, yeah. Boyo. Wait. I don't even know if I'm attacking them or not. We he I'm sorry, I'm overwhelmed with all these characters I get to play as. Do we have to destroy the abyss thingy? Oh shit, I missed that one. Oops. There we are. I literally have no idea what's going on right now. I'm just attacking whatever. I did it! Let's go! I really thought I was done. I'm so glad. I'm actually so glad that they allowed us to play as the trial characters. Like, it makes a lot more sense. It's more accurate to the story. They should have implemented this previously, and I'm glad that they've implemented it now, at least. I can't thank you enough. Don't worry about it. We're just glad you're okay. Let's see. Your goods look fine, too. Guess the Abyss isn't after Mora. That should be the last Abyssal Pylon near the Children of Echoes. Okay. Phew! That was scary! But we did it! I can't do that voice, guys. Um, by the way, where's Seat Lolly? I thought she would come with you. I'm reducing- I'm toning down the pitch of that. The Masters of the Nightwind also got attacked, so she went back to help her tribe. She said we can deal with the Ancient Name later. Okay. <sighs> that makes sense. The attacks are more urgent. Alright, this isn't a good place to talk. Let's head back to the tribe. Let's go! Let's g -er. Okay. Let's go back to the place where we literally just came from. Jinquo is probably the better one. Yeah, he is. There we are. Look at that. Easy hopping. Ooh, almost thought I was going to die there. In the game. Of Genshin Impact. Looks like a few people were hurt after all. Oh. The Abyss threw a lot at us at once. Before long, Kachina brought over a whole group of warriors, and just like that, we destroyed several pylons as a team. It wasn't in charge of anything, we just happened to do it together. Still, I think this proves that camping in the wild was a great idea. That's how we were able to respond so fast. <laughs> Sleeping on the west grass was pretty uncomfortable, but it was worth it. I don't mean to be negative. You mean the situation in the Night Kingdom, right? Yeah, I feel the same way. We've managed to keep it a secret all this time, but more and more people are realizing something's wrong. Yeah, clearly. <sighs> it's impossible not to feel anxious when things are getting worse by the second, and all we can do is... Just wait. wait. Yeah, exactly. When... and... wait, hang on. Oh, no! <laughs> I got mixed up, I thought autoplay was off. Every battle is worth something. On, not off. Why, thank you. <laughs> I guess it's one of my better qualities. I learned a few things you should know. Bro, something's up with her voice. Maybe she's sick or something? So, specifics aside, the Pyro Archon confirmed the Gnosis can resolve the crisis, but it comes at a huge price. And somehow the captain finds out about it, goes to fight the Pyro Archon, and calls her out for having a solution, but refusing to use it. Honestly, if he has the same information as us, I can't really blame him. It's probably because of our plan was too risky. We don't even know if the six heroes will reunite in time. We talked to Malika before we left the stadium. According to her, the cost of the captain's plan is too high. And, well, it makes sense. If that was truly the better choice, she would have picked it. Huh. Yeah, I trust the Pyro Archon. When I was upset about Kachina's disappearance, she was really sincere and patient with me. Plus, she burned down all those precious mementos for Kachina. She's already proven how much she values even a single person's life. When it comes to Natland's survival, there's no way she would hold back. I agree. Maybe the captain weighed the cost and came to his own conclusion, but I'm sure we have different priorities. Life is important. But so are history and memory. I'm on Muvaka's side too. 
As the Archon, she can't tell us everything, but it seemed like she wasn't holding anything back this time. Oh, the next question is, if the Captain found a new way to save Natland, how come the Pyro Archon has never heard of it? Yeah, and isn't he from Snitchnaya? Why would the Fatui want to save Natlan? Uh, this is all super confusing. Hmm. We still don't have enough information. Once we figure out what the Fatui are doing, we'll have our answer. Let's head back then. Moika said her intelligence <laughs> officer should return soon. With how many Fatui there are, someone's bound to give something away. Yep. Sounds good. I have a few theories of my own. With a bit more information, we just might get to the bottom of the whole thing. Okay. What, do you, you want to join our garrison, Molani? I was just about to ask. Count me in. <sighs> if I was just a bit faster, we could have prevented a few people from getting hurt. Then you should go register right away. Wait, register right away, yeah. It shouldn't take long. Everyone's looking for people. Register? Nah. I'll just follow you around. <laughs> nah. You know, go where you go, do what you do. Uh, um, okay then. You have to follow my orders. <laughs> you got it. I just don't want to make the trip back. It's so far. Alright. See you all later. Let's get See together ya. and celebrate once this is over. Oh, you betcha! <laughs> okay. Bro, it's so weird having the voices not being, you know, because I'm pretty sure it's definitely the strike. Again, thank you to Sock for uh, mentioning that to me in my Discord server. Body and mind. <sighs> Man, I need to do some exercise. I've been having problems with my breathing recently, like my stamina, my shortness of breath. They ran into the Fatui while out on a mission and decided to follow them. The Fatui? The Fatui wounded uh, Chuya? Chuya? Chui I uh, can't say her name. Calm down and let me explain. Here's what happened. What happens? Tell me. Tell me everything. Watch out. It's the Fatui. Oh, they're fighting them again. Were they attacked by the Abyss? No, wait. It looks like they're protecting a group of travelers. Over there. Do you see? You're right. That's a traveling group from that land. Could they be trading for something? Let's keep observing for now. We're glad you're okay. Given the appearance of Abyss monsters all over Natland, you should cancel your journey and seek shelter at the stadium or one of the tribes. Ah, the nice people. <laughs> Only nice when it's at that convenience. So much. I wish there was something we could give you. We don't expect anything in return. We were out on a mission and saw you being attacked. It was our decision to help. If you truly wish to repay the favor, you can keep this a secret. <laughs> if anyone asks, just say you were saved by warriors from Natlan. Okay. Uh, I think I know something about the Fitui, and it's that there's like two polit uh, politics, political sides of the Fitui, and there's like a separation between the Harbingers about their political opinions or something. I think um, the Capitano's on the good side of the politics. I don't know much about it, though. Oh, okay. We can do that. We're not asking you to cover up our activities. We haven't done anything illegal. Our captain simply wishes to remain undisturbed. Nonetheless, the decision remains yours. If we wanted to keep you quiet, we would have employed a harsher method. Okay. G got it. We'll get going now. Did you hear that? They mentioned a captain. Isn't that who the Pyro Archon is looking for? Exactly. We could be onto something big. Still, there was no trade. They hmm. were just helping people in need. I didn't sense an ulterior motive. I didn't believe the captain when he said he wanted to save Natlan. But based on what we just saw, it's possible he was telling the truth. 
Maybe we've been wrong about the Fatui this whole time. A part of it, maybe. It's too early to say. Let's follow them and see what's really going on. Okay. Let's go. So this is where they were headed. Looks tricky. It's heavily oh, guarded boy. on all sides. Koichi, wait for me here. I'll go in and check it out. Oh, no, you don't. How are you planning to get through all the guards? Look, I can use this terrain to my advantage. With our tribe's special way of getting around, I doubt they'll see me coming. We still can't see anything on the inside. The more heavily guarded the location. Yeah, yeah. They're trying to dabble each other like, ah, don't go, go. That's even more risk. I'm confident I can protect myself. Yep. I can. You fine. Don't believe, you know, growing up even. Uh, all right. All right. If we start arguing. Uh, <laughs> guess that means I win. I like a hair. You're not the her. only. It reminds you of Rosario, kind of. The color I of it. can handle this. Well, the color okay. of her little Same thingy. As usual. I love how it's a gradient as well. It's like blue and red. Make sure I've got your ropes. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> I get the feeling this is gonna go horribly wrong. The Fatui have eyes all over this place. I should wait for Koichi's signal. <sighs> hmm. This is awkwardly silent, isn't it? It's like no music whatsoever, it's just plain silence. <laughs> Peak gameplay. Okay. Thumbs up. Now. I love it. Simple. Go! Okay. Bro, I used to be so fit. Now I haven't worked out in like two years. I'm not sure how many chances I'm gonna get. I need to act. Okay. Oh, I like how it's actually interactive. You have to actually interact within a specific set time. Should get to that platform over there. Okay. And it's guarded by the Fatui. Koichi should have line of sight. I'll wait for her signal. Oh. <clears throat> That's it. Now's my chance. Quickly approach the area underneath the platform. Okay. Don't jump scare me. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's no use staying in one place. I should keep moving. Looks like Chaska is helping me by keeping an eye on the Fatui movements. I'll wait for her signal. Uh oh. There's so many. Go! Oh. <laughs> she didn't care. That was close. Almost got caught. Probably can't make it over in one go. I'll wait for my next chance. Okay. Now's my chance. <laughs> She's got the generic NPC run. <laughs> okay. I just want to know how she got hurt, man. If we could just get past them somehow. Wait, I've got it. All right. Oh, what is that? Toss out the mysterious sphere. That's that's pretty wild. Oh boy. Oh. That's going to kill him. Right? Yeah. Knockout gas. Huh? What's that noise? Did something explode? <laughs> oh, it stinks! <laughs> I love that voice acting, bro. Whoever voiced Golik Golikov, 
Good job on you, man. You made me laugh. It, the bathroom be like. <laughs> what the heck is that? What do you think you're doing? I could ask you the same thing. Good. They're arguing. Looks like they just needed an excuse. I think the people on the hill over there left to help their comrades. Okay, so we distracted them. All we need now is an AK-47 and we're good. I hope she gets this hand signal. That's Koichi's signal. <laughs> Smart idea. Alright, time to move. Give me your hand, quick. Oh my god. <laughs> Mini scared me. I checked, and this way is completely clear. It should lead us to the deepest part of this place. All right. <sighs> well, I was Second. pretty helpful, right? Stretch. You know, everyone usually jumps at the chance to work with me. Not my own sister, though. No, she avoids me like her life depends on it. I was wrong, Koichi. You've done well. Wait, you're just gonna... Let's focus on the task at hand. All right, all right. If you're not... Looks like the Fatui are here to dig something up. I'm so... It seems like they're looking for a dragon relic called this... The device is ancient. Barely any information survives to this day. And even people from that land don't know how to use it. Why would this be the Fatui's target? It looks like a dice cube. <sighs> not bad. Looks like it's in good shape. This should be what our lord's looking for. Lord. <laughs> Took us long enough. Back? Back where? Should we keep following? Back to Snezhnaya. You really want to keep going? Of course. We... Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. We've been spotted. Time to go. Falling rock incoming! Watch out for your gadget! What? What? Yeah. You'll regret that! After them! What just happens? Falling rock? What? Then what happens after that? Did she trip over on a Once banana? We them off our tail, we went back to observe some more. They've collected several identical pieces of something. Okay. It looked like they were waiting though. So we decided to come back. So, Koichi got injured trying to get them off your tail? <laughs> she pushed herself too hard and collapsed on the way back to the stadium. Rip. Well, I didn't cause you any trouble while we were fighting, right? So my perfect record remains. You've done very well. I could make a comment on knowing your limits, but it's not my place. I know, I know. I'm already reflecting on my actions. So our current intel suggests the Fatui is after the source mechanism. The device is a complete mystery, even to us. <sighs> What does the captain want with it? Probably something really important, clearly. But it's safe to assume the device could serve a similar purpose to the Gnosis. Oh. Shilonen, okay. I need you to gather every scholar in Natland familiar with the secret source. Yeah, I'll get right on it. Thank you both for your hard work. Koichi, it's time for you to get some rest. Okay. Oh, and there are gifts from your patients waiting at the speaker's chamber. I prepared a small gift of my own as a token of gratitude. I'll send it to your home along with the others. <sighs> Patience. That's so nice of them. You don't need to give us a... <laughs> uh, I accept. There's some for the rest of you as well. I'll start investigating the source. <laughs> yummy snacks, yay. Yummy, delicious. Elegant. Yes, I do hope you all are enjoying the episode so far. It's quite a long episode for sure. I don't know if anyone is in, well, insane enough to watch it for this time period of time. Again, do uh, remind yourself to take some breaks if you're watching this video. <laughs> Unless you're just gaming all day, in which case, keep watching me. You know what's surprising is how I haven't eaten within two hours. I'd love to have something in between. I don't have any snacks on me though, so I can't really go with that. Oh, what's it all the way there? All right, okay. I'll do that. I'll do that. What are they cheering on about? Yeah. Body and mind. Body and mind. Body. Water again. What's next Please. for you two? The 
I'm taking Koichi home, with our parents there to keep an eye on her. I can make sure she actually rests. Hey, it's not like I'm some kind of prisoner. That's what you always say. Everything's... What if the Abyss attacks again? I won't. Triple promise I won't. Mm -hmm. I um, doubt that. Um, but I'm a doctor. I, I do the same for anyone trying to put their life... Then try to see things... The two of you are the same. I disagree. I understand. Who wants to be like her? Over... <laughs> That's just not true. <laughs> you think... Okay, okay, don't get into another... Can't be bothered <laughs> hearing this sibling <laughs> rivalry and complaints. You didn't do anything wrong. Plus... I get more Sorry guys, if I seem a bit rude, it's because I stay, you know, staying here for a long period of time is kind of, kind of wears down on me. But I kind of want to get this all done in one, one episode. I don't know how long the story is though. So we'll plus, I be my guest. See you later, traveler in Paimon. See you later. Once everything. There's no rush. At least grab a nice meal with your family. Bye, you two. Bye, NPC. They should have made the NPC an actual character though. You and Pino are trying to analyze the captain's goals? Okay. Huh? Footsteps? What? What's Itali? What the, I wasn't expecting that. Ahem. Uh, sorry for popping up out of nowhere. Okay. Nah, it's all good. <laughs> but why do you look so awkward? Oh, is there something you need from us? Okay, I won't beat around the bush. Oh, and I'm sorry for interrupting your rest. Awesome! Just give us your orders! Hey, friends don't order each other around. I'm just here to share some news. <sighs> Remember what we talked about before parting ways? No. Oh yeah. You mentioned how Aurora has always wanted to All right. <laughs> yeah. And something about his soul being fragmented. Okay, this is why this is literally why I appreciate Paimon. She reminds me of events that I forget in a matter of a second. Paimon and the traveler discussed it after you left and I yep. agree with your hypothesis. And just now, I confirmed it myself. Aurora came back. He helped the masters of the Nightwind defend our camp. What? He came back? Did he say something? I told him to give up whatever he's doing, but he refused. He said they're just one step away from success, so there's no way he can back out now. Apparently, he came back to fulfill his duty to our tribe. When he left, he said it was because he still has a duty to Natlan as a whole. I'm not surprised you let him- I had to prioritize my tribe. Besides, the situation was intense. I couldn't focus on outside and inside threats at the same time. Plus, he was on guard. He knew I would try to go after him, so he made sure to keep his distance. I kept an eye out for a good opportunity, but it never came. Ugh. All these years of calling me Granny, and I couldn't do a single thing for him in the end. Don't say that! Your tribe all raised him together, right? <sighs> You're right. He's not only a- Besides, Aurora on his mo- Wait, what are you saying? Look. What? Remember how I said Aurora's soul is fragmented? This is the talisman I created to keep it stable. Oh, nice. And this gem is what makes the talisman work. It just so happens that Aurora is due for a gem replacement. Uh, since I can't get close to him, I put the new gem in a supply bag and God asked damn. Aoife to bring it to him. You guys know Aoife, right? No? No. Well, he's a pretty famous vet around these parts. He's always bringing me all sorts of things, and he happens to be very good friends with Auroron. Aoife doesn't know what's going on, so he agreed, no questions asked. Auroron mm. would find okay. the gem as soon as he opened the bag. He knows how important it is, so I knew he would make the switch. Oh dear. There are remnants of a storm while a hurricane remember. that's hitting the UK but right now. Here's the catch. It's the kind of interesting. Trick? Is on the bag. The moment he touched it, a portion of his memories were copied onto the old gem, okay. which he no longer needed. That's amazing. You can do something like that. Uh, most people can't, but I can. She's so cool. That trick he used to bring you to the Night Kingdom isn't anything special, by the way. My technique is much more subtle. He won't notice anything. So, in other words. We have a whole backup of Aurora's memories in this gem. Bro, he's like, a, this is a USB sticking Genshin Impact. <laughs> <laughs> the kid thinks he can take me on? 
<laughs> like I wasn't the one who taught him everything he knows. That's amazing, Seat Lolly. Let's take a look right away. Once we get to the bottom of this, we can finally track him down. Uh, I know he thinks of me as his grandma. Huh, that's a tough question. Paimon doesn't have a grandma, so she's not the best person to ask. It's possible. Families disagree sometimes. To be honest, I've always doubted my ability to look after him. I, but if I stop here, it will haunt me until I'm 500 years old. Every night I'll wake up in a fit of anger. And then start freaking out. <laughs> I don't scare that easy. Still, if I back away from this, <sighs> I don't care. You sure you'll be okay? Did you just say... Is that okay? We have a pretty good reason to see it too, don't we? Time was right. Uh, right. We need leads on the Patui. Yep. You really mean it? Uh, fine. You can come. Just promise me you'll see this through. No backing out. Mm -hmm. Got it? Don't worry. We're professional adventurers. Ah, uh, then I place my trust in your professionalism. Yay. All right. Time to sneak into someone else's memory and engage in some... Uh... Unwanted spying. Yeah. <clears throat> pretty much. Uh, you heard it here first. I wouldn't be doing this if I had any other choice. Okay. <sighs> Are you ready? I'm ready. <gasps> oh my god, we're entering the we're entering the other place. Look at the symbol in the bottom right. Oh, nice. Vegetables. Look how good you're doing. You'll grow into nice big radishes in the future. And you, Aoife says you're taking up too much space, but I think you're a good tree. What do you think? Hey, how's it going, Auroron? Good. How are you? Ah, can't complain. No, just some idle conversation. <laughs> Sounds fascinating. <laughs> they told me you were coming. <laughs> By the way, I ran into you. No, don't worry. I'll find I've already My brain cannot really keep up with this. I'm coming. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I need to take amazing. a break from this soon. Light up the smoke and you can see the path through the shadows. That's what everyone says. Hmm. Hey, what time is it? Have you seen that strange group of people that just appeared out of nowhere? Appeared out of nowhere? I don't think so. It's the Fatui. Their leader seems like a big deal. He didn't bring many men with him, but they're all elite warriors. It seems like they're looking for someone. If you run into them, be careful. Okay. So we're looking at his memories then, right? This is his past memories. I'm guessing. Hmm. You're from the Masters of the Nightwind, are you not? Why do you live here alone? I enjoy living by myself out in the wild. I guess you're from the Fatui. One everyone's calling a big deal. Not an inaccurate description. Oh, he flexing. <laughs> I'm looking for someone who may be known to you. Seat Lally is her name. Oh. Oh. Granny. What does an outlander want with her? Okay. I've heard the name. You had business with her? <sighs> There's no point to further questioning if you insist on hiding things from me. I shall seek answers elsewhere. Aww. Bro, he's like, I ain't got time for this stuff. Hey, <laughs> at least tell me why you're looking for Seed Lolly. It's none of your concern. I have my own means of tracking her down. Aw. No. No. Why are the Fatui looking for her? What does she have to do with them? Okay. Quick. I can't just let them go like this. I have to figure out what they're planning. Okay. And then what happens after that? Man is so tall. They've just been studying the ley lines and asking for leads on Granny. I can definitely rule out some sort of invasion. The situation has seen no true improvement. The Pyro Archon did not fulfill her promise. Hmm. My lord. Hmm? Ignore him. 
He is no threat. He knows I'm following him, but he doesn't seem to care. Okay. He's strong, I can tell. But there's something unusual about him, and also familiar in some way. I can't describe it. Well, why? Uh, what the hell's what going on with him? My lord, I... I feel dizzy. What? A line disturbance. Certain presences have been forced to wander outside their rightful realm. Oh no. Oh, he's trying to heal him. Nice. That was a spell from the Masters of the Nightwind. How did he know that? Is he sending those escaped souls back into the ley lines? Oh. How did he do that so easily? Soul faring is supposed to be extremely difficult. This could be related to why he's searching for Granny. Okay. Uh, I feel much better. Thank you, my lord. He, Think nothing of it. He's so cool. Stay vigilant and continue to gather information. The abyss <laughs> could attack at any moment. If you notice any irregularities, assume drill formation and be prepared to fight. Okay. However, there is no reason to over-engage. Information is our first priority. Yes, sir. Why are the Fatui fighting against the Abyss? Do they really mean us no harm? Okay. And then they became friends. <laughs> oh, even more. Hang on, let me just move my microphone here. I've been following him this whole time and still they ignore me? Do they really not care? It seems like his subordinates referred to him as the captain. I've never heard of him before. And now he's headed to the stadium. That's unusual. Oh, what is he gonna do? You two, with me. Everyone else, wait here as instructed. Send word to the other teams to retreat immediately if this fails. Okay. Yes, sir. He's going yes, sir. Inside, but the Pyro Archon is in there. What does he want with her? Forgive me, my lord. Allow me to check one more time. Do you truly wish to do this? The time for idle observation is over. It now falls on me to act. Oh, he looks so cool. Sorry. <laughs> this nation is out of time. Yes, sir. He just walked straight into the stadium. What is he going to do? <gasps> All right, yeah, this fight right here. They're both strong how long will they have to fight until someone comes out on top mm. <gasps> wait this feeling just like the other day near the ley lines it's faint like a soul's trying to escape where is it coming from is that why he's looking for granny if he dies here then all clues will be lost i can't let that happen oh no Oh, and this is the follow-up from the last Arkham quest. I must confess, I did not expect that little trick of yours to save the day. No matter how dense the fog, as long as the sun remains, we cannot turn day into night. She could have dispelled it. She simply chose not to. <sighs> you don't have much time, and you're injured on top of that. What do you plan to do next? I'm beginning to see just how useful you may turn out to be. Oh. You heard something from here. 
didn't you? And and this is a part where I can I thought he was talking to us. I thought he had four wall breaking abilities. <laughs> Ew, he's coughing without a mask. No need Sorry. to force yourself. I've never seen anyone match the Pyro Archon in battle before. <sighs> I didn't expect you to intervene at such a critical moment. You know I've been following you. Why didn't you stop me? Okay. <laughs> when walking in the forest, it is only natural to encounter wild beasts. However, not every beast has the courage to come out and bite. Okay. And yet, one of those very beasts saved your life. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> He ain't wrong though. Then speak. What do you want? I didn't save you because I wanted something. My soul is more perceptive than others. I can sense that the ley lines are extremely weak. I don't know what the Pyro Archon is planning. Can she really save us? The questions you asked her just now, well. I've had very similar doubts, so I felt like I had to help you. Hmm. Ah. So, you can tell the truth. That was quite a reckless decision to make. I'm not sure you realize that. Well, no turning back for me. okay, in defense of Auroron. It's going to get me in a lot of trouble. In defense of Auroron, you didn't really provide him any specifics. You just decided, I. If you ain't gonna tell me, I'm just gonna simply leave. Bye. You attacked the Pyro Archon in broad daylight, and I used my spell to save you. A single glance was likely all it took for her to recognize my tribe. Hmm. So, we're in the same boat. You seem to care little for my thoughts on the matter. Yeah. <laughs> it's too late for that. Start from the beginning. Why are you looking for Sitlali? Do you know her? That was really Explain delayed. your relation to her first. I know you two are acquainted. It was obvious the moment I mentioned her name. See, Lali is my elder and my teacher. She taught me everything I know. It's my duty to protect her. If you truly wish to protect her, you should have let me perish at the Pyro Archon's hand. Yet... You chose otherwise. Do I really need to tell you what that means? Hmm. I don't know. I want to do something to change Natland for the better. Something I can accomplish with my own two hands. You're stranger than anyone I've ever met. But maybe, just maybe, you can show me the way. Why would he? Strange. Sitalale is said to be the legendary Granny Eatstli, someone capable of communicating with the Wyub, and the Wyub are the key to information on the Night Kingdom. Okay. Why do you need knowledge on the Night Kingdom? That is not something you need to know. Don't forget, I saved your life. And I don't give a damn. <laughs> Do you not believe the Fatui capable of betraying a debt? People can lie, but souls cannot. I can tell there's a weight to your soul. A sense of justice. He's got special abilities. You may not live among your tribe, but you certainly know their tricks. I apologize for my rash judgment. You are more capable than I imagined. Hmm. Let's go. We'll see if you have what it takes to join my plan. He kind of has abyssal clothes. If you look at his clothing, it's it's got like patterns of blue and gray and dark stuff. Kind of reminds me of Dainsliff. Ooh, speaking of Dain, I can't wait to see how he'll interact with this Archon quest at Interesting some point. Approach. You know, because we always get Dain at some point. Worth trying, I think. Rather than weaving a net to protect the ley lines, this method would address the root problem. Yep. By reconstructing the ley lines themselves. 
Oh, what? That's really big, actually. Ley lines are pretty important, aren't they? We're gonna go right in the ley lines. Okay. I just want to see a cutscene, man. Okay. So we saw all of that. Traveler, Paimon. Are you two all right? Yes. Uh, Paimon's fine, just um, a little dizzy. Pardon me. Are you okay, Sitalali? Sit of course. I'm just. Oh, I'm so mad at him. <laughs> After everything, he still can't let go of the past. I can kind of understand how he feels. <sighs> for some reason, he thinks he owes something to the people who cared for him. <sighs> now that he's all grown up, he thinks no one can tell him what to do. He thinks he can just run away whenever he wants. <sighs> I mean, he kind of can. <laughs> Show him. If he tries to run one more time, he's got another thing coming. Maybe stubbornness runs in the family. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Huh, that kid's got nothing on me. Okay. <sighs> I think she was disappointed. Anyway, play. back to what we just saw. I don't even know what to make of it. Back to the yeah, studio. Captain seriously wants to reconstruct the ley lines? What does that even mean? Something like the loom, the loom of, of fate. fate. Oh my god, yes. The Loom of Fate? Oh, I... It's kind of hard to explain. Basically, it's a device from Conrea that has unbelievable power. Uh, anyway... If he really wants to manipulate the ley lines, everyone in that land will be affected. He tried to seize the Gnosis for the same purpose. He's serious. It lines up with everything he said before. Let's go with this one. Which means... The captain has been honest from the very beginning. Hmm. Auroron's memory proves that. Why yeah. Why is he so obsessed with saving Natlan? Yes. She needs to know about Okay, this. let's go. Bro, I think we can trust the captain. I don't know. There's something good about him. Okay. Let's go. Do I get my free Primo Gems? <gasps> I'm AR-48! Finally, how much adventure rank do I get from these quests? I'm just curious. Bro, this is probably the longest video I've made so far. Uh, I get 800 pre- Come on, Hoyaverse. You could give us like a thousand. Give, give us like 10,000, bro. What's my adventure rank right now? Oh, never mind. Okay, that's a bit excessive if I was to say that. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe 3,000. 2,000. I mean, it's still a lot of adventure rank. Don't get me wrong. Oh. Uh, I've got to go all the way there. Where is this? I could just teleport there instead. I'll do that. Okay. Let's go. Oh, what is going? Oh, let's check the messages real quick. Hmm. Movica. Movica. <sighs> Traveler, Paimon Sitlali. Perfect timing. I've located the captain. Mm. Oh, really? That's great! We also just took a peek at Auroran's memories and discovered something huge! Oh, uh, oh, we could- uh, Calm down, Paimon. You're just gonna let her know then? So the captain was searching for the source mechanism to reconstruct the ley lines. If his plan is already in motion, that means he knows exactly how to accomplish his goal. We have to stop him. Why? Is reconstructing the ley lines a bad thing? Yes. It's not a simple fix. It would mean sacrificing nearly everything contained within the current ley lines. Very similar to the price of using a Gnosis. If okay. he activates the mechanism, it's all over. We need to mobilize our forces as soon as possible. But what forces do we have? Kanich, Shilonan, you two, and myself. All other warriors are working to push back the Abyss on the front lines. But that's barely any people! Not to mention you lost your power and they've got the captain on their side! Well, maybe we really should get Sitlali to break Oronon's legs. <laughs> that won't help us with the captain, I'm afraid. In any case, the Masters of the Nightwind are in urgent need of manpower. Sitlali, I was hoping you could head back and help defend the tribe. Mm. Alright. I understand where I'm needed. I'll head out right away. 
Don't worry about your grandson. We'll figure something out for sure. I'll leave him to you all then. <sighs> all right. Back to the matter at hand. I don't believe defeating the captain needs to be our ultimate goal. Let me grab Shilonin and Kanich, then I'll tell you my idea. Yeah, I don't think defeating the captain will solve anything. In fact, I'd say defeating it will just hinder everything. Oh no, we have to voice Kanich. As you all know, Auroron is working with the captain and we need to stop their plan. The captain is a formidable opponent, but that shouldn't deter us. In any case, a head-on confrontation isn't the best way to solve the issue. Their plan hinges entirely on a single element, the source mechanism. If we leverage our forces, we can destroy it, and then success is ours. We'll head out together, and the event that a confrontation becomes inevitable, I'll stall the captain while you advance. No, you're our leader, and you've lost your power. You shouldn't be the one to face your captain. I agree with Kanich. The two of us can handle it. Listen to my plan first. Kanich, I want you and Ahau to launch an assault from the front and break through the Fatui defenses. The captain won't be on the front lines. As a seasoned warrior, he'll be stationed in close proximity to the device to ensure its protection. So, you want us to let him to the front? No. The purpose of the frontal assault is to gather the Fatui forces in one place. That way, it's easier for the rest of us to avoid them. Shilonen, I need you to do what your tribe does best, and dig a tunnel from the outskirts of the ruin. What? So, Shilonen is... <laughs> so, Violin is launching the main assault. Exactly. The Traveler and I will join her as well. No one can create a distraction better than you, Kanich. Not even myself. By combining our strengths, we just might manage to break through the captain's defenses. <laughs> Leave it to me. Understood. Then we should uh, head out now. Just promise us you won't do anything reckless. You cannot face the captain straight on unless you have no other choice. You mean everything to us. Losing you would be the worst possible outcome. I'll also try my best to not let things get to th that point. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Yes. You have my word. I'll proceed with caution. Whippy. This is gonna go well. Act four started? Okay, okay. I was about to say, I was about to say, is it did it complete? <laughs> Let's see. Oh no, no primos yet. I was like, hmm. Do I get extra primo gems just for starting it? I mean uh, extra XP. I am glad I'm AR48 now. Makes things better. Pardon me. Do we get a map expansion by any chance? Yeah, I don't think we do. Never mind. I think the closest I can get is here. Uh, okay. Oh, there's a... I would have to, like... Never mind, it's right there. Uh, I can't help it. Usually what I'll do is... Uh, there'll be a day where I just won't go and stream at all or record. And then I'd use a Genshin Impact interactive map and I'd just do everything in one go. Like if I wanted to collect all the Pyrooculus. <laughs> the only issue with me collecting that just now is I'll probably be going back there and it will not be there. And I'll be like, hmm, did I miss out properly or is it underneath? So yeah, it's, it's, it's why I try to avoid collecting them. Like there's another one down there, I think. That's not, that's not there. <laughs> Wait, there's a, there's a waypoint there. I had no idea. Don't tell me. Oh, okay, okay, good. I was gonna say, if that was a waypoint there, that was already unlocked, I would've been annoyed. Cause why would they put it directly above that? Like, it's kind of annoying. Come on. Come now. Wee. Okay. <gasps> oh, no. All right, this is the place. Their tunnel must be behind that gathering of Fatui guards. Mm -hmm. Any of the nearby mountains could be a good infiltration point, but if we want to stay under the radar, we should approach from the side. I is agreed. Ahar and I will handle things from up front. There are only a few Fatui stationed around the perimeter. We should take care of them first so they can't alert anyone. Okay. Body and mind. It just feels so wrong, like not hearing their voices. I don't know, it might be a different experience for you because I'm doing the little crappy voiceovers, but um, we'll see. Oh, I, I need a... I think I need a... a, 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 a 
two are all there, aren't they? Yeah. This is probably a stupid idea. I probably should have gotten someone like... Actually, you know what? I might change the Kachina after this. Just so I can actually use her. I became you. Get wrecked. <laughs> oh, oh, so many. Okay. Defeat the Fatui. Okay, let me just uh, get out of this real quick. Okay, who's difficult? Cryo guy right here? He seems simple. Boom. 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 Pretty simple, actually. Oh, no, please. Please. No, no, no. Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay. Heal. Heal myself. This guy's easy to kill. He's just animal. So he's just packing windy punches. Alright, that's done. Let's head to the mountain top. What do you think, Shilonen? Is this a good spot? Yeah, looks good. We'll take it from here. Alright. I can see the inside. Yay. Perfect. We'll keep going. The rest of you should head back. Things are about to get dangerous. Okay. All right. Please take care. Hopefully we get to play as uh Jelonen. I'm hoping. I hope. <laughs> no? Mm, okay. The Fatui wouldn't Fine. concentrate all their forces in one place. There's sure to be guards on the inside, so stay sharp. Oh, nice job smashing those rocks, Moika. You look super cool. Ah, that was some expert level rock clearing, even by my tribe standards. Okay. I think the, the, the reason why the audio sounds kind of different for specific characters is probably due to the strikes and the people who sort out the whole audio stuff not being there. Okay. Well, for all we know, during the strike, heck, they could even tamper with the audio so it sounds horrible on purpose. I mean, I don't know why, I don't know, just coming up with some wild theories. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see. Oh, shit, never mind, never mind. Yeah, yep. Don't get frostbite. Boom. 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 Jean. We gotta. We literally have to, bro. Okay. Let's get a sketch in here again. Wind, hear me. Hiya. Okay, let's get Goba back in here. Let's get kill this guy actually. He should be my priority. There we are. Oh, it's fighting so many Fatuis. Not the best plan in my opinion. Okay. All this just to fight one guy. Cool. Guys, guess what? I have I have an apprentice notebook. Finally. <laughs> Yay. It's from the masters of the night wind. It's Aurorons doing. Aurora. They're probably trying to buy time. Oh. Okay. Huh. I think I need to really buff my characters. Like I can easily put them to the level 80 if I really want if I properly grind grinded for them. Oh my goodness. Words do not work today. Oh my god, I'm so annoyed. I'm just so tired at this point. Yeah, you know what? Guys, I'm gonna end it here. This is taking way too long. This has been a really long episode as well. I need a break. I think I'm gonna call it here for tonight.